Hardleg and his friends, they're gonna play a lot of games. It's Legs Play. And welcome to Legs Play. Hardleg Joe here with with everyone, pretty much. You, you wanna go ahead? We got a. Do, do we introduce ourselves? Yes, I'm pointing at you so you can say your name. Aimless James. Aimless James is here. We've Captain got. Captain Cardsworth is behind him. CB Radio all the way back here. Stoke Steve. And then Bootleg Drew will be here shortly. He's going to join in. And welcome to the holiday, hard leg, Christmas, Kwanzaa ex extravaganza, uh, where we're celebrating. We're celebrating with rage and Q and A's. I, I gathered a whole bunch of questions to ask all these guys since we have everyone here in a big, big board collective. And uh, we're going to be playing Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy, which is all the rage and all the, the fun stuff. So does this mean we don't get a Christmas party? No. I this mean, is, this is the Christmas this is party. The Christmas party is you guys huddled together in my basement, working but, without pay. But, but I thought we... <laughs> <laughs> it's and not the worst gift I've ever gotten. You're welcome. Happy holidays. <laughs> but I thought we were going to have hors d'oeuvres. No. Here. I was Here's gonna... your hors d'oeuvres. Have some chocolate sticks. Yeah. Here, I've, got, chocolate sticks. I've got little snacky cakes shaped like Christmas trees, too, if anyone wants one. Ooh, pop filter. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're, we're, eating the pop. Why are you doing this? We're going to take turns on this. We're going to play for 30 minutes or until you quit, whichever <laughs> comes first. So in I other words, like everyone will play for five good. minutes, and yeah. then we'll be we'll be done. Yeah, if you want. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take my 30 minutes. I'm going to try. You're gonna start I'm going to take my time. Brand new game. Does anyone actually want I'm one of these? I'm going to take one of those. Of course you do. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Nice diet there. Hey. Okay, okay, so we're starting. Aimless James is going. So how do you play this game? <laughs> you, you, you move the mouse. And oh. You, you that is the extent of playing this game. It is so jerky. Yeah, well, I have I have the DPI set really high. Why? Because you kind of need it in order to control things the way you need to control things. This is... <laughs> okay, this is weird. Yeah, have you ever seen anyone play this before? I've seen it, I just... Didn't you had no idea how difficult that it actually was. What is this? That's a tree. <laughs> no, it, what is this controls? <laughs> control. It, I should it, move the mouse. If, if, you, the stick. if you don't know who, who Bedit Foddy is, he's the guy who made Quop. Have you ever played that? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, that, it, it's that game where you run. <laughs> <laughs> row, row, row your boat. Get me down the stream. Okay, this is different. Yep. This is very different. I mean, if you want, you could <laughs> just get off you, the tree. You can you, you can make it less sensitive if you how want. How do how do I do that? This uh, is there's like a middle button underneath the mouse button. There's two middle buttons. <laughs> um, it's the one. Uh, try both of them. The hardest part of getting over it was not. Okay, this over one's it. this it one's lower. Changing the settings. This one's actually too low. Is there yep. a third one? Yeah. Okay, there's a there's a third one. Okay, I think that works. Oh, and so he's just gonna. Gonna silently speak underneath all of them. Yeah, yeah he's okay. he's got the thing, but I turned the the volume down. If you want to see the the, the commentary, play the game yourself, Actually, or if you want to see or the watch commentary. any of the oh. other millions of videos that are being made no. of this particular Get over game. The... Yes, lots of people have played this particular game, but that seems to be what people like. I always used to like not want to play the popular games, but I'm like, we'll do Cuphead, even though a million people do Cuphead. And everyone was super excited about it. This is like one of the biggest things in decades. So, I, I am sure that uh, that people, will, a lot of people, will, will watch this one. At least three hundred. I'll watch it. Hey, That's just just two hundred ninety nine more memories. to go, Joe. I oh. may even watch it. No, you won't. I, I so let's... May <laughs> May and Flash that there is a chance. We'll, we'll be lucky if you even look at the comments to see people talking to you. I'll be lucky if I can get you to answer the questions that I have written down for you. That there's nothing. <laughs> Specifically here for. I mean, um, I'm an underachiever. Okay, so I've got, I've got uh, two questions for James that were James specific and for no one else, and then I'm gonna go over some of the everyone questions. Uh, so James, what was the schedule like for Dark Souls? Why did it take so long? Didn't we only record like once every two months? P pretty much. I mean, it was like once a month. It's a, a lot of people. No, it, it's, it's your question, but oh. uh, mo <laughs> I mean, what is this? <laughs> Half the fun of the game is talking. This is Quop in a cauldron. Yeah, exactly. I don't even know what Quop is. It's that game where you're like a, a runner, and it, it's like track and field, and then you got to press Q, W, O, and P to move the various muscles in his legs to oh, try okay. to get him I, to run. I, I remember that vaguely. 
Yeah, it was like a free Flash game. And then he also made another version of it called Clop, where he plays a horse and it's even more convoluted because <laughs> there's four legs. Is this like I Am Bread, but like... Don't you dare disrespect I Am Bread. Yeah. Uh, I Am Bread had a free play mode where you could feel good about yourself. There's nothing about feeling good about this story, game. I Am Bread had story, and it had, had hearts. Just, yeah, it's just gonna. And heart story. Just gonna look at this thing for a bit here. I don't Ooh. understand. I knew yep. I should have bought this game and practiced. Probably. It's eight dollars. It's not that bad considering the the hours and hours. Some of us, of have, some of us have to work for our money, Joe. We don't just get people on the internet throwing it at us. I mean, I work for my money too. I had to, I have to record everything. I have to put up with you guys. That's true. <laughs> that is. That is. <laughs> I don't think he gets paid. I don't think he gets paid enough for that. Yeah, I'm so mean. Hey, your Christmas special could have just been like what I'm gonna do: just record a bunch of Christmas scratcher tickets. Yeah, on your yeah, own. That'd be rather jarring for Let... Joe to be like, "I'm gonna do scratchers tickets now." Guys. <laughs> I think he just meant like an on your own video. I know, but I just welcome, like that. welcome to a hard leg unscratching. <laughs> unscratching. You got, you got, you got to fling yourself. You got to use the power of the human spirit. Uh, the, you got to believe no Christmas. But yeah, the, the, this question was for James, as if James chose, like, the schedule <laughs> at which we did Dark Souls. But this, this is pretty much me. I have to balance between getting everyone in. Uh, I, like, it'd be kind of fun to just, like, sit down and have, like, Dark Souls on the channel for, like, six months and just go through it. But, uh, everyone else wants to be on the channel, so I alternate. And that's, that's why it took so long. We're all needy <laughs> people that need things. Yeah. I don't want Cardsworth to, like, not be on the channel for, like, a year and a half and then finally show up and be out of practice. You don't What's mean... Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> What's a trap card? I have to set trap cards, right? What's you two? So who's this new guy, Captain's Cardsworth thing? <laughs> yeah. Can't you see? Well, that's I'm another captain. thing. captain, trust me. If I kept... Yeah, he's got his Captain Cardsworth shirt on. Oh. Which is, by the way, I got my shirt. I hoarded an extra, extra large. They sent me a large. It doesn't fit. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, this 4XL is a pretty snug 4XL. <laughs> So, yep. it feels more like a If, if a you had three. a question about how fat Captain Cardsworth is. <laughs> I, I can wear three XLs, but I like the maroominess of a four. <laughs> See, I, I feel mildly embarrassed that I wear a two XL. <laughs> so thank you for making me feel slightly better about not working out. Today was my workout day, and instead I got McDonald's. <laughs> Which is like so the opposite. Did you at least walk antithesis. to the McDonald's? No, I drove in a nice heated car. <laughs> you, you might as well have just had it, like, if it were possible to have it delivered. <laughs> it is. It is it's... possible to have McDonald's delivered? Yeah, they're, they're delivery they're, now. They're, no, not just McDonald's. There's a place, I forget, they advertise it on Philip DeFranco, but it's this service where they're, like, super cheap. Uh, all You, like, pay them, basically, and they go and get you whatever you want. So you you order food and they'll just anywhere that's around town you can get groceries you can get fast food pizza they'll just go get it and drive it to your house for you. Hmm. Uh, oh, Postmates that's what it's called. I haven't tried it out. It seems like something only rich people could afford. So donate to the Patreon so Joe can yeah uh, so I can use afford Postmates, Postmates and he won't have to ever leave his house. Okay, here's your other question, James. Are you human or a robot? Wait, wait. Yours. That was mine. No, that was for James. <laughs> that's for me. Yeah. How? Why? I don't know. Maybe well, they Steve, got the. You can answer that too when you play. Maybe they got it mixed up. No. Yeah, I mean, like uh... maybe Joe got it mixed up. <laughs> um, a lot of the people clearly don't watch the legs plays that like ask because a lot of people are like, ask ask Steve and Brandon what their favorite Yu-Gi-Oh archetype is. <laughs> yeah, I <didn't> know. <laughs> it's like my well, answer is a dead one. <laughs> a dead one. The so only good Sermons. archetype is a yeah mm. exactly. He's the zombie player. No, oh, he most most of the legs players don't play Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. Even James and and uh, Cardsworth, who who know about Yu-Gi-Oh, don't really play it anymore. Keep up with it. I have YGO Pro installed. Yeah, I still win with my Cyber Dragon deck. Ah, so what do you think about the new Crystron Link Monster Needle Fiber? Do you think um, it's going to disrupt things in the OCG, or do you think it's going to be standard here in America? You know, I think that it's really <laughs> just overrated and overhyped. And, you know, Bottomless Trap Hole is just still, you know, the best counter trap card. Ten it's out of ten. shallow and pedantic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then that that's all the questions you had for you, James. <laughs> Why did Dark Souls even... take so long, and are you a human or a robot? I didn't even answer yet. <laughs> I know. Why are not? Are you a human or a robot? Yes. Real... Yes. <laughs> yes. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Controversial if true. And he's almost made it up to the latte. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh, never mind. You lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. A real punch in the gut. 
<laughs> All right. So first question for everyone: What do you want for Christmas? Hmm. I want more patrons on my Patreon. If you want to join <laughs> me there, I'd like to have a successful YouTube channel. You have a YouTube channel? Yeah. <laughs> In lack of that, I need a better chair. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to send me a chair or something. Yeah. Peanut butter M and M's are still good. So uh, Pong, get on that. <laughs> Okay, You're well, obviously the chair wizard. How how about you, James? What do you want for Christmas? Nothing. More Dallas Fuel merchandise? <laughs> I can't. I already have all of it. <laughs> all of it? I'll Fuel take I'll take another jersey. Yeah, they're the uh, <laughs> the Dallas uh, Overwatch team. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, what about you, Cardsworth? Um, is a better president an acceptable answer? <laughs> Can the uh, patrons deliver that? No. Are you I don't sure? Think so. Like, Maybe if we got enough together, we could be like, vote for somebody better. I don't know. I'd almost say like, you know, they could, they could assassinate him, but that would make a better president. Then you'd get Mike Pence, and that would be far worse. That's the guy who's like, pornography should be illegal because it leads to moral degradation. No, he's. It goes further than that. He's the one that's like, you should never be alone in another room with a woman who's not your wife. But what? I guess yeah. you're not getting that job then. That's what a lot of people were saying like. That, that Trump specifically picked Mike Pence just because he was so worse than him that no one would dare try to assassinate him for fear <laughs> of Mike Pence becoming president. <laughs> this is true. Uh, how about you, Cards or not Cards? Uh, no, no, radio. No, 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 that's again. I, I have well, I can, I can, I can. Want he wants to make Christmas. more political statements. Is what yeah. he wants. Feel the burn. <laughs> <laughs> how about, how about you, Brandon? What do you want for Christmas? Uh, I don't know. Oh, there's the latte. No. If I was going to go for a, a, a Christmas-based joke, it would have been my two front teeth, but I yeah, got those that's, already. Yeah, that's the standard. Mm-hmm. Uh, I oh, don't know. Yeah, that's another thing for me. I'd like to see a dentist because my teeth are starting to hurt again. I'm seeing the dentist uh, Thursday. Nice. Which means by the time this comes out, I will have already seen the dentist. Oh, oh see that latte gone. Fuck you, latte. You're the checkpoint I can beat the crap out of and leave. <laughs> it's not a checkpoint. I don't. It is to me. <laughs> there it are no checkpoints. It's a benchmark. <laughs> Get careful. Yeah. Careful. Slowly. Reel yourself in slowly. Nope. Oh. No. <laughs> See, That's the wouldn't. opposite of reeling oh. yourself in. Brandon, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, is your latte buddy again? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's going off. Get off. Go away. <laughs> uh, I don't want you here, latte. Red solo cup. I push you what? off. Let's get yeah, rid of something. Party! Yeah, uh, I'm actually trying to think of something to say on that uh, Christmas present. Okay. So I might want to go with Steve right How about you, Yeah, Steve? we need to skip Brandon. He needs to make a joke. Wait, no, finish your thing. No, no, I, I, I don't have uh, I thought, one at I the moment. I thought Steve doesn't celebrate Christmas. Uh, yeah, he celebrates Christmas. He doesn't celebrate it, like, religiously, but... No, it's, it's just the... He likes presents. Who doesn't like presents? The Grinch? No, he likes them. That's why he stole them. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. He stole them to spite everyone else. Yeah, but they're his But now. he still, that's what he said, but <laughs> you know he just wanted those presents. He wanted that Gibbledy Gop or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. No. Knowing Dr. Seuss. Go up. This is... A Dr. Seuss sex toy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> be sure to fadoodle her diddly-doo. <laughs> yeah, he did draw porn beforehand. Yep. And political cartoons. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? Arf -ad, arf -ad, arf -ad. Which is more shameful? Oh, yeah, did, did either did, did either of you guys have actual answers, or should I move on to the next one? Uh, maybe we'll come back to that later. Something I won't get, may never get, and that depresses me to talk about. So, it's uh, hey, bootlegs here. Hey. Oh, it's not something that you could actually actually oh, get. Oh, I so got my on. Christmas wish. Oh, okay. Bootlegs here. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. bootleg. I'm not yeah, sure if they could hear them. You gotta kind of have to. You're gonna sit on the floor down here. It's the Yay! only way to be. <laughs> Why do I give you this? Which would be no, a better thing? I'll sit right. I'll just you know, take a knee for the remainder <laughs> take of a the knee, cast. Knee on the team. Uh, yeah, now we have Drew to ask the question. Yeah, too. right in time for the perfect. Like, I got. I'm not sure if you saw on the channel. I put out a thing for Q and A for all the Lex players. I meant players. to like do a research on it, but I uh, watch it to and prepare, prepare yourself yeah, for questions. But, yeah, yeah, but I, I didn't. That's fine. They're they're really easy. Okay. Most people, it's clear they don't know who you are. Excellent. <laughs> like, what, what do you want for Christmas, Drew? What do I want for Christmas? Yeah. Um. Hmm. To be honest, <laughs> I'm actually looking for a new place to uh 
to live. I'm trying to find roommates and stuff. Ah. So I'm looking for someone to help pay rent. So if you're in Missouri and you're looking for a roommate and you want to stay with Bootleg Drew, (laughs) leave a comment in the comments. The Bootleg Drew. Yeah. Not just any Bootleg Drew. Not a Bootleg Bootleg. The Bootleg. Exactly. The actual 100% Bootleg. James, you're going the wrong way. (laughs) I've noticed. (laughs) He hasn't made it past the latte yet. Oh! oh. 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 Latte Sabotage! The cup! (laughs) We were friends. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is why coffee sucks. I went to your bat mitzvah. Yep. What? Which every everyone gets a half an hour or until they rage quit, whichever comes first. I'm getting okay. close. Uh, so <laughs> You're only halfway there, James. Okay. I am not. I am not well even... beyond halfway to rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> You, you don't show. You're like me. A lot of people are like Joe. What, what's the game you rage at? I'm like, I have a quiet stewing rage. I'm just like. <laughs> I've had enough of this. this game. I'm this not like throw chair angry. Um, okay, so second question for everyone. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Joe, you didn't say what you wanted for Christmas. I you did. A chair. A oh, chair. Yeah, you did. I said really? a lot well, of M and M's and all sorts of things. Oh, well, well, is it well, going to get up monitor. there? Is it gonna, come on. Yeah, I guess a new monitor no, would no be good too. James. That's what Steve wants. He wants me to have a new monitor Instead that's clean. Of just wiping <laughs> off your monitor. One that's down. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. Fuck this. <laughs> All right, who's tagging in then? Is it me? Uh, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, if you're uh, close. Go for it. Volunteer. Right, uh, we'll, we'll switch around here for a second. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. okay. We're just swapping there's the skinny a, people. There's a holy chair yeah. that uh, wouldn't want it. All right, so yeah. let's see. Well, how I don't think it would fit very well. It's fine. fine. Everyone can just take a take a turn kneeling. Okay. Oh, we gotta right. get them to start. You, you gotta start from the beginning. You can't just go right. here. We'll escape. And just go to uh, quit. quit. Yep. All right. New game. We gotta see if he can even make it over the tree. It's right. loading though. For some reason, it takes a minute to load a new right. game. New game. Oh, yep. Nah, it has to compile all that frustration. <laughs> Plus, you've got to see that opening cinematic. That was great. Mm. That was, yeah. that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, Life me. changing. Life changing. Okay, Drew, so you've only got one question that they specifically yes, asked for me. you. Yay, yeah, I'm important somewhat. Uh, how do you plan to implement your uh, ownership over Shack Soda, Taste the Shack, in the future? <laughs> <laughs> um, we've established yeah. that, that, that did not count. That, in fact, did count. No, Thank you. That's a lovely question. No, that, I object. <laughs> yes. Do you um, have any future plans? Maybe a Shack the, Taste the Shack t-shirt? I um, would possibly, I'm returning, revitalizing Taste the Shack. In fact, I'm planning on possibly creating a new business model for more Shack soda flavors. <laughs> ah. Taste the various Shacks. You're going to diversify. <laughs> yes. Any plans for like a, a uh, for tasting other uh, basketball players? Like a, perhaps the taste, taste the Kobe. Taste the Kobe? Um, the, taste I, the LeBron. The closest I'd get is Jordan, maybe. <laughs> taste the Jordan. As he is also made some terrible movies yeah. besides Space Jam, so that is the, my prerequisite. Is What is their movie career like? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So the shareholders might yeah. be able to tell. Yeah. Also, if, if, if you're finding the mouse isn't uh, sensitive enough, there I have a button to change the DPI. He, uh, he had it set way lower than I had it set. All right, I have it, see. like, super sensitive. You, oh. you, you probably want it low. All right. Oh, I, I like it super high. Nope, I just got it. Yep. I get, just got it. Yep. Speaking of super high, a big shout out to our viewers in California, Colorado, Washington, and um, where else is that shit legal? <laughs> where else is that good, Everywhere, tasty soon. shit legal? Not if Jeff Sessions has his way. Yep. Damn it, um, Jeff. Pol- politics. 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 Okay. Oh, he made it over the tree. Awesome. Uh, Free to go away and come back. He'll always be there. He'll remember everything, even your mistakes. Okay, so next question for everyone. Uh, what's your best memory of Hard Leg? Oh. Ah, damn it. Okay. Um, let's see. Best memory of Hard Leg. I'll have to think on it. Anyone else got a good one? <laughs> <laughs> Six hours later. <laughs> Six hours later. <laughs> oh, what happened to all know. the other questions? We spent all the night trying to think of a good memory with Joe. Yeah. I mean, I'm me, and I don't think even I could think of a good memory. Ah. <laughs> I remember that first Legs play when things were fresh. Oh, yeah, the, the, worms. Uh, the yeah. worms. When we hung out and lived together. <laughs> yep. That was nice. With he who shall not be named. Yep. The other yeah. roommate. And I had to move out. Maybe one day. Uh, shit, we shit. Get enough people on shit. The pa- <laughs> 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 we we got <laughs> enough people on the Patreon, we could start Hard Leg House like I always wanted to. 
I'd be down for a big ass. old gamer house. Are we, we going to have the semi sentient tinfoil hat that lives with us, Joe? Yeah, that was the original. Um, what was it? Fan fiction. It's like us living with a sentient tinfoil hat that doesn't believe in conspiracy theories and resents the fact that he's associated with them. <laughs> <laughs> Who made that? That's beautiful. And th that was me on the fly. I think there was also a llama or something. Yeah, we were know. raising llamas. Yeah. <laughs> We, things, yeah. things were a little random yeah. back then. We thought we were so clever. Mm. We still think we're so clever. Yeah. Um, Actually, uh, I have a memory. Uh, oh, you do? Oh, yeah. Uh, I thought this would be one of those ones where everyone's like, I don't have any good memories of Joe. My Fucking... favorite memory was actually... Ah, shit. Uh, uh, shit. Uh, sorry. What? Okay. Uh, Your mouse pad's a Yu-Gi-Oh pad. <laughs> I just noticed that. It's terrible. I mean, you can use the regular mouse pad, but I find I need a lot of movement on it. Shit. Shit. <laughs> shit. Shit. <laughs> My memory can wait. <laughs> no, go ahead, just, just no, 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 no. This is far more. Just, just lean in and explain. <laughs> He's not gonna make it. I know, but I'm just like this is engaging. Um, oh, oh, oh. this is more engaging than me watching a let's play. Just oh. tell your story. Oh. Essentially, it's just the uh, the story of all of us <laughs> attempting to st uh, to sing the intro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Originally, because what was it? I, I actually had someone who, who asked uh, one of the questions later on is like. When are you going to release all those songs, or are you going to release all those songs you guys sing together hmm. on the channel? Because they think the acapellas are all of us, like, yeah, doing them us. live and not me just recording my voice over and over again. Mm -hmm. But uh, originally, yeah, the, the first Legs Play theme were, uh, was I was going to have everyone just sing it. Um, and they turned out terrible. <laughs> like, uh, we peaked the mic, well. we didn't harmonize. There was no backing track. I've got this. <laughs> it was just like seven people going hard, like, and yeah, his friends, friends we're going to play a lot of games! It's like play. So like that. But yeah. yeah. Imagine but three hours worse. of that. Because he hadn't figured out how to make, uh, how to sound edit at the time. Yeah. Well, I you, did the sound editing. Yeah, you did it on the, the, the Lex Play one, and then I learned how to do it mm. for the later ones. Um, also, Wolf Angle. Just... Just wolf angle. Oh yeah, that, isn't that, that a, a Yu-Gi-Oh great... card? No, no, not yet. Oh, that was that's, that's Wolf Bark. That was from uh, what should I call it? The, the clicking game. Yeah, the, the cursor challenge that Million Littlely made us play. I remember that. You We're... didn't use my recording of that. Yeah, that was when that was ah. when uh, we were angry at each other, <laughs> and you were like temporarily off the channel, and then you came back. So much drama on this channel. <laughs> Um, but only between but it's, us. Yeah, but it's okay, because Wolf Dangle turned out being really cool. And Steve made a design for mm -hmm. it. He's part man, part heli part detective, part helicopter. Which, the detective part is the most important part, part of that. Part detective, exactly. part helicopter, all man. All man. All American. All bright. <laughs> Madeline, all, all bright. <laughs> all red. Um, and, and anyone else got anything to share? Should I just... just no, no, on? I... Uh, <laughs> he's desperately I remembering thing, this one. I, I swear. Oh? I think ours is uh, my oh! support. Uh, you made it farther than James. I made it here. Oh, no! <laughs> I spoke too soon, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so hard to control. Right, so, um, I think my favorite was our playthrough of Lisa. Despite it being controversial, uh. it was, uh, I... I had a lot of fun, and we learned a lot about each other. Uh, we, got, but, we got to know each other yeah, more than we had I'm, previously. I'd love to answer yeah. a question later about that. About Lisa? Yeah, because one of the questions is like, which legs play do you hate that everyone else likes? <laughs> I read ahead. <laughs> well, oh, focus. 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 Yeah, oh. I, I think Lisa was uh, the only like story-based play that I actually watched all the way through. Yeah, that, that, well, that was a pretty, at the time, it was our most popular series. Whoa, and of course I did it. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> no! Oh, no! <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, come you on. Gotta have the, you gotta have monk <laughs> patience. Well. Well. Can you move? <laughs> no, no! You can go down, and that is about it. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm um, just you're just standing have, now? Because I have a James in the Steve way. Steve is the stoic one. Like, you have to sit down. <sighs> Alright. You can see your chair full of that. Yeah, I can no, get cozy That, that just makes more. James's head more in the way. Is this help? Is there yeah. something wrong with James's head? Well, I mean, it's not the game that's happening. You'll get a chance to see it. It's okay. It's it. more game than you ever watch. <laughs> yep. Oh! It's not a burn when it's true. <laughs> Unless it's a 
unless you're being literally burned. Well, with, yeah. With fire. Then it's true. Uh, true. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> oh. Oh. And it's back down to the bottom. That's <laughs> 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 state of affairs. <laughs> okay. Right, for, for those of you... They, they, they specifically asked for Yu-Gi-Oh, but I figure for, for you, uh, Drew, you could yeah. ask with, like, Magic the Gathering okay. if you want. Um, but, uh... Ah, oh, damn it. What is your signature deck and card? Um... So I'll answer first, since most people have the actually actually play Yu-Gi-Oh here. Uh, for me, my signature card is a card called Witch Hunt, in which uh, it is passed around the table, uh, and it is randomly dealt to an enemy, and no one can gain life, and every turn, every instep, everyone takes uh, two damage. So if it's not removed, it just ends up killing everyone. Yeah, and it just passed around. It's like chaos and nonsense and poppycock, and I just love it because everyone hates it so much. <laughs> um, it's just your troll card. Yeah, it's just my troll card. But my signature deck is a deck uh, that I made that's just all elves. It just makes elf tokens, and that's all it does, and it does it really well. Huh. So that's kind of the deck I'm known for. That and my mom's Doretti already deck, which is a uh, which is a deck based on this card called Doretti the Scrap Savant. Uh, and he, uh, and he just does artifact shenanigans, if you don't know what that is. But the Yu-Gi-Oh people can take I'm, over I'm now. I'm sure a couple people will yeah. know. Um, James, you're closest. Um, ah, damn. Well, as far as a single card, if I asked anybody here that I actually played with, they'd say, fuck you for your Dark Samorg. <laughs> you're half a That's... second ahead of me. Yeah, your Dark Samorg <laughs> is probably your signature deck. Yeah. Probably. He didn't didn't play it now, but he used to it just lock everyone <sighs> down. It was like that with the uh, anti-spell, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I used that like in what, what was that? It was like, like synchro era. Yeah. Yeah, that it was like when um that was like when the the like mystic or whatever versions of or the malefic versions of all the things were coming out is when I started building that. Ah, okay. I gotcha. Uh, Cardsworth. <clears throat> well, my my signature deck would have to be my Machina Gadget deck that's been basically unchanged since like. <laughs> 2012. Who plays Fisher. Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have Fisher and Smashing Ground and all that stuff He's in it. Famously beat Burning Abyss in their prime with it by using fit Fisher. Ah, uh, no, it was Cleehorps. Oh yeah, Cleehorps in their prime. Yeah, because he just kept like trying to summon shit, and I would just either bottomless it, or then it'd be on my turn. I would just Fisher his only one, and then poke him to death with my gadgets. Uh, not sure what your signature card. I guess your signature card then would be Fisher or Smashing Ground. My, you know, non-targeting destruction effects. Yep. Well, there That's you go. That's probably a horrible description of Witch Hunt too. but I'm just so focused on this game. I love it! <laughs> <laughs> I love it and I hate it! <laughs> Peter well, shall be mine. mine! And I'm walking it. I can't help it. I need victory in this game, and it's not going to give it to me very easily. <laughs> Maybe that once makes everybody's want it done more. with their 10 minutes, you can have your 45. It's 30. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm fairly certain some of us are going to get up only to 10 minutes. Well, he got to, like, 16 and then... Quit. Yeah. yeah. Drew's at ten. He'll, he'll keep oh, going. Oh, that's good. Twenty minutes. Um, Twenty minutes of glory. Let's see. <laughs> I know your signature. No. Brandon, probably the, that that warrior. Swordsman. No, uh, Silent Swordsman is my favorite card. But if we're gonna go with uh, a signature deck and a signature Gusto. card, this is getting uh, uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 it really I, does. I, I, hey, James. What? Sit on this. Sit on what? Yeah, uh, this little like stool here. No, oh, it's a drum stool. That's Far, much better. More comfortable. Hey, you uh, want this wooden chair, Brandon? Yeah, that'd be fine. Or there's a folding chair. <laughs> My signature deck uh, would be the deck that I had for several years, which is the... I like the look of these cards. It was Warriors. It was Warriors, <laughs> it was uh, warriors it was, but it was, it was warriors, but it had, like, Dark Magician something <laughs> just shoehorned in. What was that thing? No, it was Dark no, Valkyrie. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't just Dark Magicians. It was uh, Garbage TG. And by that I mean uh, I pretty much played cards that I thought were cool-looking, yeah. and it was a crap deck, and... The only thing that got me into actually being a, a decent, halfway decent player was the card Spell Striker, which I used to great effect on uh, the only yeah, thing that I actually made. He defended; it could attack directly. Yep, and it, yeah, I just pretty much pumped up Spell Striker as much as possible, and then Damn like, it. blasted people with it because he also was like incredibly stupidly easy to summon. Yeah, you could like banish a spell card to get him out. Even from like the graveyard, and he was—he's super cool, and I like him. But yeah. yeah, favorite card would actually be the Silent Swordsman, uh, level five. Specifically, he's awesome looking, and he—he uh, 
has an awesome effect. Yep. And then uh, Steve doesn't play Yu-Gi-Oh or care about Yu-Gi-Oh or so, any any you know, card games. So his favorite card is Ojama Yellow. Yeah. <laughs> sure. So, whichever card is the most cringy and makes people hate the game. Probably oh, totally Royal awesome. Yeah, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank totally you. awesome. Yeah. You were half a second again. Either that or Trick Stars. Mm -hmm. All the Trick Stars. Karibos. When I when I was still judging, it was Royal Oppression that was you know cringeworthy to everybody. Because nobody understood how it worked with like chains and summoning. <laughs> <laughs> you will be mine. <laughs> I will get victory. Damn, yeah. I'm gonna go home and buy this and just spin. You won't see me for three weeks. Good I, luck. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next like play with you is not gonna be like, all right, we were going to play this, but he got getting a. Oh, it's just me, me and Brandon playing like guy yeah. alone. Like, yeah. we haven't seen bootleg like, Drew. He can't get over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't. No, I just like the idea that, like, literally in the middle of you booting up a game, he's just going to be like, no, we're playing Getting Over It, and it's just, this is going to be recorded. Yep. Oh, uh, I have a good memory. The, the time you convinced me to buy Guns of Icarus, because you said that would be the thing we're all going to play, and then we never fucking played it over the next, like, three years. Yeah. It's just been sitting in my Steam library. This is not really we a should good play that, memory. By the way. Yeah, we should play that. That would be a fun game. That would be. We played it it'll a all, couple times. It'll all come, come back around. Yeah. Uh, we, you didn't have record. time at the time. Not, none of us did. Yep. Now we I actually have a pretty good schedule. Yeah, and as, as, as for me, I'd say my spirit deck and yeah. uh, creature Cre swap. God, <laughs> yeah, creature, creature swap. Creature swap will never be <laughs> out of. Er, it'll never stop being good. As long like the better monsters they make, the better creature swap <laughs> becomes because you just steal their monster. And creature swap, yes, but actually for me, I would go with uh, for you was the uh, dust. Uh, dark, dark dust spirit. Dark dust spirit. Oh, that's a, yeah. that's a fine so field you got there. It'd be a shame <laughs> if somebody just turned it into it dust. Off. Yeah. Yep. That um, thing. Uh, let's skip over a couple Yu-Gi-Oh based ones <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> that's um, what our channel's known for. Questions? Yeah. We do. There's just a bunch in a row. Um, what's the worst game you've ever played? And what's a game you hate but you think that the other legs players would enjoy? Oh. The worst game ever That's played. a head-scratcher. <laughs> uh, it, it's hard to think of the worst game I ever played. I usually avoid worst terrible game games. <laughs> uh, the worst game I ever played was Godzilla 2017 for <laughs> the PS4. I rented, I paid money to rent that, thinking it would be like Godzilla Destroy All Monsters. It played like a tank simulator, and... Made me so angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that was Yahtzee who was like, "You play like a guy in a rubber suit, yeah. like a 1950s suit. Like you walk around so slow and just barely like." Brrr. The fighting did not feel fun and or anything. Yeah, I, I I'd have to say for me it probably like I think Super Hipster Lumberjack. What? Yeah, I I started playing it because I thought it'd be like a lol random game. And it was just. Dumb. It was just like a low rent platformer. Um, I don't know. I, I usually don't play a lot of games, and I don't really. I, I, I bought a bunch of like really cheap games that just were like boring, and I never played them again. Shit, shit. I don't think there's any game. I love this game. I don't know if the other people here love it. Drew seems to have a complex relationship with it. <laughs> Not a complex relationship. It's more of a. Uh, it's a actually a bad relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I don't, if you've not seen me, I, I've been playing this on stream, and uh, Carsworth will come in and be like, I'll give you a dollar if you jump to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I enjoy it. I like climbing back up again. There's something just fun about just the, controlling this guy. I don't know. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. I know I hated Hyper Dimension Neptunia, and I know a lot of people like that. That's like um, the opposite. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, there you I, go. I, I hated Antichamber. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Let's play or legs play? No, okay. it could be just any. What's 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 a game you hate? Okay, what's a game? Or the I worst hate? worst game you've played, or worst one of the worst. I've played. Hmm. I played a lot of bad games in my day, like just out of stupidity. <laughs> um, let's see. What's the worst game I've ever played? Damn it. <laughs> Spin the bottle at Jennifer Wazowski's party? Probably. <laughs> How about you, James? Anything? Um, Destiny 1? <laughs> Destiny 2. 
Yeah. <laughs> I will get some hate in the comments. No, it won't. No, Everybody no, will be like, I agree. It's yeah. the same with Dark no, Souls 2. Um, no, ironically okay. enough, I think I like Dark Souls 2 now more than I used to, just because now that everybody's done like trying to meta game it, it's yeah. fun again. But, um, no, actually, okay, this is going to be obscure as fuck. Does anybody remember Quest for Camelot? Yes. yes. It had a Game Boy Color game, and I played it, and it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I remember just... specifically hating it because, like, this was at a point where, like, once a month I might get a new game, <laughs> if that, and this was my new game. So you so, just had to play so, it. So uh, that turned into a lot of redo, like replaying Pokemon Blue. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Walt? Well, now that I remember it, and this was probably, this is not even... These might not even be bad games. They were just bad for me. Uh, Warlock on the the, the, the the Sega Genesis. Some doofy teenager recommended that my mom get that when she bought me my Sega. And it, all I had was like, I didn't get Sonic. I got that a game and a game called Chalkin for Christmas. And they were both Chalkin. they were both like hardcore platformers made for like twenty somethings who were like experienced with Metroidvanias. And, like, I couldn't get past the second screen in Warlock. I didn't know what to do. I had that game for, like, I had it for the entire life. I had it for, like, eight years. I never, I would come back to it periodically. I never got past any part of it. God, me and my relationship with Rayman. Yeah. <laughs> never uh, oh, Rayman. I remember uh, Earthworm Jim for the uh, Nintendo 64 I actually didn't care for. I don't know, they made a Nintendo 64. Yeah, it's actually uh, it's kind of one of those gym platformers. I didn't know that you'd uh, dislike that. Yeah, it wasn't... Because I thought it was a shooter, and it was definitely not a shooter. It was a platformer. Uh. I don't care for most... Especially then, I didn't care for platforms nor puzzles. Well, you're in a bit of a, a pickle now. Yeah. <laughs> not a big fan of platformers. You get the I said one. I wasn't when I was a kid. Oh, ah, okay. Now okay. he enjoys them. Speaking yeah. of N64, uh, and this will garner plenty of hate in the comments, I hated Majora's Mask. Oh, oh, that was that was the only, like, like... I didn't like Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time was fantastic compared to Majora's Mask. See, for me, that was the exact opposite. But granted, I had everyone ruin Ocarina of Time for me because I every kid I knew invited me over so I could watch them beat Ganondorf. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Steve did that at one point. No. No? I, I never really cared for the Zelda series in general, personally. Huh. It's just, it's just not my thing. I mean I, I mean, I got my copy secondhand, so somebody named Alex had already beaten <laughs> a couple of the dungeons for me. Actually, uh, you said that uh, on the opposite end, games that you dislike that you know that uh, uh, another Let's Player likes. Yeah, Legs uh, Player. Uh, like us. No, no, I, I know, I know, Legs Player. Uh, Divinity, I think. Uh, whatever the game is that uh, uh, essentially... Oh, uh, Divinity 2. Yeah, Divinity 2. Uh, James... Uh, I fucking was... love that game. I don't give a shit what anybody else says. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not so much that I don't like the game. Per se. It, it's the fact that <laughs> the only memories I have of it are of sitting there watching you playing and passing <laughs> out like four separate occasions. That was your fault. I said, I'm just going to be playing this all day. If you want to come over, it's you're just going to be watching. And I'm you're a like, That's fine. lonely person. <laughs> now, you know what game was uh, really, really, like it was supposed to be really bad, but actually ended up being like really, really fun? Vendry Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Oh, that's... Steve, I, I, I Steve. absolutely loved that game. Yeah, oh, okay. I, me and my so brother thought we... Uh, me and my brother thought it was going to be terrible, and we just spent hours on it. Yeah. Yeah. Steve, I, that, you had, like, really high... You were, like, up in the leaderboards, weren't you? Yeah, I, I, I was, like... Uh, I, I, I had so much fun just, um, like, trying to beat the, uh, uh, the, the world records for different things. They had uh, various challenges. This is the moment where you find out that you were two rivals at the, the same game. <laughs> well, it, it, no! Oh! No! No! Oh! <laughs> you don't go left, buddy! Well, now <laughs> I know! <laughs> it's alright, you didn't hit rock bottom. It's, the tree looked real. I can't. Oh, man, that was sad. The tree! It betrayed me! <laughs> it's, it took me like 40 minutes to get oh. up that part the time I tried it. Yeah. And it's like, oh, he got up so... No, the other... <laughs> like, you got up <laughs> so fast compared to me, but you just couldn't. Oh, oh so man. sad. Um, But yeah, back to Steve. Yeah. <laughs> is there Sorry, any... Steve. Is there... So, uh, is, what's the worst game you've ever played then, Steve? Or one of them? Or a couple of them? I I really don't know what <laughs> the worst game I've ever played was. Uh, I, I, I feel like... um. 
like as a kid I didn't have a whole lot of games and I'd always you know a even if a game was like not great I'd always like use my imagination and like find something interesting within it create my own game out of the game hmm. uh, lovely way to look at it yeah well I mean I, I kind of did that too like I said I had I had Chalkin and Warlock that those were the that and Mortal Kombat 3 were the only games uh, I ever Mortal got Kombat. on the Sega. Wait, how old were you? Like, 10? So, your your mom bought you Mortal Kombat and not Sonic yeah. at 10. No, I bought Mortal Kombat with my own oh, money okay, after okay. saving no! up for like a year <laughs> and a half. True. I was Dude. trying to reposition myself. Because I was just like, the doofy little teenager convinced your mom somehow to get you an incredibly mature game at the time. Yeah, my mom, my parents were never much about censorship or whatever. Yeah, okay. like, you know the difference. Depending on when it came out, Mortal Kombat may have not had a rating yet. No, I, they it was, no, it was Mortal Kombat 3. Oh, was okay. The first yeah. one created the SRV system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's just the thing, like, the like you know, I, I, I couldn't beat Chalkin. I actually looked up a Let's Play of someone beating Chalkin, and I'm like, okay, this was way too complex for me. But I used to go around and explore the levels, because you could choose from four levels, and My they were interesting. <laughs> Like I made, I made something out of Chalkin, even though I couldn't beat it. I played the hell out of that game. My first game was Mega Man, uh, Mega Man Four, I think, or Mega Man uh, Two. I I'm... can't remember which one. First game was Super Mario Three. Uh, I had an NES, but all I had ah, was Mario and Mario Three. I had the uh, and track and field yeah, that didn't I had the work. Mario and uh, the uh, for the Nintendo uh, baseball. I don't remember exactly which one it baseball? was. Baseball. It was a baseball game and. Uh, one of the WWE original, like WCW or whenever they like, back in the Nintendo areas, I distinctly remember uh, learning what a Boston Crab was. <laughs> Being like, I just got the Boston Crab off on you. You can't get away from that. And yeah, I had fun with the wrestling games. I remember I made a character. It, it's like they had a custom character maker in one of these old like PlayStation wrestling well, games. They still do, they, yeah, but it was really simple. Um, it was basically just get an, an existing character and rename them, mm -hmm. but it, you could change the colors. But there was a, a secret snowman character, <laughs> and I recolored him brown, and then I gave him all these moves. I remember he had this move, like, he jumped off the top turnbuckle with someone, and I called it the poop stainer. <laughs> he's like, poop stainer off the top turnbuckle, he's gone! Oh! I just remember, because we were playing it at 3 o'clock in the morning, and his mom came in and yelled at us. <laughs> <laughs> But, oh, yeah, uh, uh, you know, we got that question going around. Yeah, we get to... I was going to the next one. Uh, back to one of the Yu-Gi-Oh ones. I'm going to alternate. What deck do you dislike playing against the most? Brandon, I'm going to assume you're going to say Dark Samore. <laughs> Absolutely second is Dark Samore. First one uh, would be uh, a fellow friend of De uh, James and I, Devin. Uh, he had a spell counter deck where he would literally just sit there and accumulate counters, and I had nothing that could stop it, and he would just decimate my life points. Did, didn't he also play Full Power Infernities, where it was like, if he went first, oh, yeah, he that, won? That was, the, that was the first, that, like, he played Infernities to the point, so much to the point that I got annoyed, so I made an Exodia deck specifically just mm -hmm. to say, okay, whoever goes first wins. <laughs> <laughs> And and it, that it just was you. Into that. You just had the, the like. Yeah, I just had like the. I the remember old, hearing uh, this, the old dragon. You told me the story about that. The, like where dragon you encounter. Them play. Yeah, I, I remember watching you play one time, and you were literally just rock paper scissors, and whoever yeah. won, you <laughs> drew your cards, showed each other your hand, and then you're like, "Do does one of us clue like did whoever goes first clearly have game? Okay, yep. we'll just rock paper scissors and shuffle again." Mm. That, that li we literally did that for like 10 minutes. No! <laughs> uh. Frustration station! Bastard! <laughs> I, think, I think the deck that I hate playing against the most actually is Despots. Huh. I like Despots. Although they can just hit you for like 20,000 life points. Which is pretty neat. Um, Which is pretty neat. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I don't want to ask you about things you hate right now, Drew. Cause sure, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> I hate sledgehammers and guys in pots. Yeah, either either on Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic. Is there a deck that you just like? I cannot stand playing this. Mill decks. Any mill, mill deck. De any mill yeah, deck. I love mill decks. Mill decks is it's just not a fun win con to me. They seem too easy to do. I, I just like it because it like ch like you go from like 
we're attacking, and it's like, this game is no longer about attacking. You have to, <laughs> I hope your deck, ha you could find a way to beat this crazy thing I'm trying to do. It's like, it's the difference between, like, a siege and, like, a full frontal attack. Like, you are just drawing out their resources. I like the mill deck, too. Uh, how about you, Cardsworth? Um, I guess right now, in the current format, it would be fucking Trickstar. Yeah. <laughs> That's everybody's answer. Trick I know, stars but it's just like... Burn. It's like you go first, you go second, and you lose four thousand life points just drawing your opening hand, <laughs> and then they trap card you, which sends it all to the grave, and you have to draw again, and then you lose. And then if they draw in Lockbird, you don't draw again. You just and, discard your hand, and it's like good luck. And you know, back in the day, I I was not a fan of uh, Dino Rabbits. Yeah. Well, I was like, hey, let's just throw a bunch of shit in the pot and make it work. Oh, like you're this. just gonna write. Yeah, you're just gonna. Well, this doesn't work. You're just gonna rank four summon a bunch. I remember I was watching a thing with the guy who made this. People on Twitter asked him, like, why is he in a pot? And he's like, to protect his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> you don't want his legs to get hurt. He's falling from such high lifts. I don't know why, but this guy reminds me of Commander Shepard. <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> I was going to say Putin. I, but... Yeah, that's what I said when I saw Joe playing this on Twitch. So, I was does, like, why does is that mean in a pot? Commander Shepard looks like Vladimir Putin. It's confirmed. Does that mean that he's pooping in a pot? <laughs> Putin in a pot. Putin in a pot. Putin in a pot. <laughs> Putin, in a pot. <laughs> Putin on the Ritz. Okay, next card. If you could be reincarnated as a tree, what tree would you be? Stoic Steve. That is... What? <laughs> <laughs> My tree would be Barbara um, Walters. <laughs> What's that uh, one tree that, that, like, sprouts up, like... Bunch of, a uh, bunch more of itself, like through its roots. Um, like, oh, thousands of years I can't old. remember what it's called. Uh, wirewood, something like that. Wirewood. I would, whatever. What I mean, if reincarnation exists, I don't want to be a tree. So whatever tree has the shortest lifespan, <laughs> <laughs> whatever tree is most likely to die as a seedling, so I could be reincarnated as something in better. America. <laughs> Anything in the forests of Brazil. Yeah. yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, oh almost, too soft, almost to flipped survive, over the start. Well, well, Drew, you just want to, you're, you're in like 29. <laughs> if you just want to, uh... No, he's getting his full half hour, Drew. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting my full half he's hour. He's going to get up there in 30 seconds or less. Or, or, or he's going to die trying. <laughs> or going to die trying. Or the pizza's free. <laughs> the pizza's free. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Not the free pizza. The places had uh, to stop doing that because drivers were driving dude, unsafe yeah. to get yeah. the pizzas there. Uh, how, no, because uh, they encourage drivers to drive yeah. unsafely. Yeah. Mm. Uh, how about you, James? Uh. I have no clue. Yeah, I don't even know trees. Uh, uh, Can I be Isgrimir? Or whatever that life Yggdrasil? tree is? Y Yidrasil. Yeah. Yidrasil, the, the Why do I tree. know so much about trees? <laughs> <laughs> what did I learn about trees? I don't remember learning any of this shit. I'd be a palm tree, though. On a sandy beach, maybe like one of those little lone palm trees on an island so I could be king of the island. Or, or like in Hawaii, and then maybe yeah. a girl in a bikini would climb you once in a while. Exactly, you know. And even though you're a tree, you wouldn't feel that yeah, way. Yeah, you would. There's just, <laughs> there's, there's just as much of a chance as some fat Maui-looking guy, yeah. you know, climbing Eating in all my coconuts. coconuts. <laughs> but you've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Uh. Uh. Okay, D Drew, I'm going to have to cut you off, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This is his drive. <laughs> you can come back and play it again. We're going right. to get someone else Should in there. Should we play Shuffle? Okay, who's going in? Yep. Who wants uh, to do the Super Captain. Bowl Shuffle? I oh. say Cap. All right. Uh, Everybody make room for the fat guy. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got right. places to go. Got to follow my rainbow. I'm so not used to being on this side of the mic. I know. Like, I'm used to being over where you're sitting, Joe. Power. Wait, did everybody answer that question? What? Wait, oh, what reincarnated as a tree? Okay, um, Brandon, what kind of tree do you want to be if you want to answer this so badly? Uh, okay. What kind of tree do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> uh, tall. Uh, <laughs> whatever tree stops a flood. Oh, he wants to protect all the babies. Uh, so you want to be a damn tree. Yeah. So that, don't they kill those? And cut them down, and then they lay them. Okay. So we've got the specifically uh, Captain Cardsworth. I'm busy. <laughs> um, boxers or briefs? 
Uh, boxers. You're not that busy. <laughs> you're not that uh, will you ever return to Yu-Gi-Oh! and the Yu-Gi-Oh! videos? Um, that's subjective on Joe's scheduling choices. I, I, I okay. <laughs> like, if you want to record, like, something with me, you gotta let me know. Oh, okay. You keep doing deck build challenges with all these patrons I've never heard of. It, you, you're in the Patreon Discord, though. I talk you to, like, the same three people in there. <laughs> You know them better than anyone. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll try to get cards. I thought he was, like, busy. I thought you, like, didn't really want to be in them. I he is busy. He's it trying seems to climb like, the tree. Yeah. Trying yeah. to climb a tree. <laughs> it seems like every time I ask you, you're like, I got I got stuff to do. It's well, bad that this well, game makes me want to try to climb a tree with a sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was it? It's, it's not a... that you think it, you can do that. Fuck. I wish I remember. It's not actually a sledgehammer. It's like a something pick. Oh, you're right. You're right. I forget what it was called, though. I used to know the exact name. Oh, it's a Yosemite pick. Yosemite pick. Okay. Yeah. Well, now I want to try that. Yeah. I mean, you could use a sledgehammer, too. Yeah, it doesn't have the same grip. Okay. And uh, the third one. Uh, are you more likely to win the lottery, given your scratcher proficiency? I wouldn't call it proficiency. <laughs> Statistically, I shouldn't answer that. <laughs> I don't like this tree, Joe. Yeah, they they make a thing about how like I think forty percent of the people never get over the tree. <laughs> really? <laughs> gonna, yeah. Oh. So you should feel you I should feel, feel good about yourself. <laughs> um, so weird. Okay, so back to the okay. That's not all my questions, is it? Yep. You well, I mean, there was there was should have spent there were one, on boxers and briefs. There were ones that were like oddly specific, but like I I, I think you I didn't ask me what my bra size is. Did I have that on there? That's well, somebody commented okay, on well, that. Okay, well, what's your bra size? I forgot to measure myself. Then why'd you bring it up? Because I wanted. <laughs> they could have. No one would ever have known. Cardsworth. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Unprofessional. Um. <laughs> well, go get your mom's sewing tape, and we'll figure it out. I actually looked this up last night at work. How to measure for a bra size? You measure under your tits, then you measure across your tits, and then subtract the numbers. Well, I, and then, I, like, I gives you your measurement Merry plus your cup Christmas, size. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> I, I, I guess the follow-up question is, like, do you ever look in the mirror and pretend like your breasts are women's? <laughs> I mean... At that moment, he did. Do you push them together and just go, ooh, cleavage? <laughs> ooh la la. Cleavage. <laughs> I didn't hear an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you look down? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, shine up a spoon. In the... Shine up a spoon. Shine <laughs> up a spoon. <laughs> that the old looking spoon. <laughs> you lick a spoon and get a nice and shiny there, boy. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Hey. Above average. What is the most fun legs play genre? I'm going to start with Stoic Steve again. Uh, party games. Party games? Would yeah, you consider party. this a party game? No. no. <laughs> a party's fun. Because it's a single person playing. By like, definition, it's not a party game. I guess that, that's a comment in the comments. What's your favorite legs play genre? People to watch. Uh, yeah, he likes the party games. Brandon? Um, I like the uh, both the party games, but really I prefer like the story ones. Story-driven. Don't go back games, over. Like Call of Cthulhu. Well, uh, not when I'm playing them, because I'm too enveloped in the story to freaking talk. But you like watching them. Yeah, I like the, yeah, if I'm going to watch a let's play, it would be that. Okay, how about you, Drew? Mm, I'd have to say just anything really heavily action-based, like Risk of Rain with like a lot of colors and lights going on. Something <laughs> that will get my attention. That <laughs> does, yeah. <laughs> I like um, to just look at flashing lights every once in a while. <laughs> Cardsworth? <laughs> um, I don't like my vision too much. I, I'm kind of with Steve, the party games. So huh. uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse or uh, you know Worms. You can make Worms into a party game. So I always feel like everyone gets like really angry and upset on those games. So that's I ever that's the fun. Idea. That's what you do in a party game situation. It's like fighting games. That's, that's no, why there are no real winners. There's just you know whoever gets less angry. That's why oh, Mario yeah. Party is like a perfect game in its own right. Oh, what's it's that? You're to going to win upset. here. I'm going to give the pity star to someone yeah. else, so they've got another <laughs> star over you now. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, there's the pity star, and then there's the up. Oh, they've moved the star again, and. No, it's two spaces see, behind you. See, yeah. I just always, I'm like, I see people unhappy, and I'm like, they don't want to be unhappy, do they? I feel bad. If I mean, you like it. this, and you realize. Like, like, play, like, two-person games, and then, like, everyone who's not there is unhappy. Yeah. 
I didn't know. I didn't know you wanted to be in that. I didn't know you wanted to be in it so badly that you're just sitting there like unhappy, looking at all the other games. How about you, Drew? You all like their James. You all look alike. James, you already said everybody. You already said everybody confuses me and Drew, and now now you're doing it. Well, in all honesty, one was sitting there and then did move. So no, he was sitting here. Yeah, and then... And he yeah, was here I, for, like, five I, minutes. I bootlegged Drew. Did you not yeah. see all the weight I put on? <laughs> Instantly. He did, like, transformation wow, jutsu, but it didn't work. Great. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> really? Wow, I do look great. <laughs> <laughs> and I look like me. Hey, James, James has only been in hey. Pokemon and Dark Souls, so I don't think he's... We did that uh, other one. A couple of yeah, we... Uh, I was the, the chicken horse and stuff chicken. like that. Also the, you, oh, you yeah. and, then, and then you have to win the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duck game, yeah. Oh, okay. Duck game, the best Keep party track game. of your own shit, Joey. I don't, I've got too many he things to keep track He posts the stuff and he doesn't even yeah. know what I'm in. There's so much! <laughs> <laughs> Why? When will it end? Wait, no, I don't want it to end. Yeah. Shit. Okay, uh... Ooh. <laughs> uh ooh. Square one. What What does Pot of Greed do? Um, what? I better shoot you. What is that? It goes straight in the trash. <laughs> I think it just stays on the ban list. Yeah, it stays on the ban list. <laughs> so, so it, can, it can stay banned so that Konami can sell new card sets that have new pots in them. I got, did, did, pot did, of hammer. So, uh, oh, pot of greed's too broken, but here, let's banish ten cards and draw two. That, that's better. There's at least a cost. Yeah. Yeah, but decks now are like, you you use, those, cards, use those banished cards. Monster. You banish them face down. You literally can't use them. Mm. I can use them. Unless you, yeah, I guess if you've got Eater of Millions or whatever. I love that card. Yeah. Do, do, do you actually not remember what Pot of Greed does, James? No, I was, I was <laughs> memeing. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I knew Cardsworth knew because he brings it up like every time we talk. Uh, I do? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody. You're always doing your Jaden impression. Oh, and yeah. Like, I play Pot of Greed. <laughs> And now I play Pot of Greed, which lets me draw two cards. No Great! Job. Polymerization! Now I can fuse Burstina Tricks and Avion to make Elemental Hero Flame Wingman! Thank you. Why'd you sound like a 30s announcer right there? That's yeah. how Jaden sounds. Mm. Jaden, can I play Steve Gyroid at Powerbond yet? No, shut up. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> you're only in this episode because I said you could be it. <laughs> Right, what's the next if you're question? trapped on a desert island with one other legs player, who do you choose? Good Fish question. Criminal because he's already dead to us. And we can eat him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I need nourishment, damn it. I'm sitting Remember? here trying to think, okay, who has who would be really good at survival stuff? And he's like, mm, joke. <laughs> <laughs> what else do I do? No one's going to pick me, so I know this. Yeah. Uh, Actually, yeah. no, I feel like yeah, Dan would pick me. So Fuck he no. Could, he could kill me and then eat me. Yeah, based purely on a survival thing, I'd have to take Aimless James. I was ah. Yeah. What does James know about yeah. survivaling? Well, the You've rest of you are. <laughs> almost everyone else I'm is filter. fat. I Drew's mean... not fat. Steve's height weight proportionate. Yeah. But I feel like James is the most calm out of those two. <laughs> he is the most calm out of us two. <laughs> that's the, that's the big difference. Or rather, that. rather, Steve is too calm, and Drew. Drew is not calm enough. <laughs> Why are you so, so you're We're saying Steve island. would be like, Hey, look, Joe, there's a plane. Yeah. What should we do? Look at the flowers, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you panicking? <laughs> because we're on an island. Yeah. To be fair, like, if I were you, I wouldn't pick me, for sure. <laughs> like, useless uh, on a desert island. Pick me. Joe, all yeah. you know how to do is eat, like, Hormel real bacon pieces out of a can. <laughs> I know, I'm pretty much dying, like, three days in. <laughs> no, just, you go full, like, Tom Hanks and freaking cast away. There's no way. No, I'm I not. wouldn't see it. <laughs> Uh, I, I'd be tempted to take Cardsworth, because uh, I think he'd last the longest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Again, you've got that stowing with you. And then if he does die, you've got so <laughs> much meat. meat. Yeah. It's mostly fat. Well, yeah, it's, mostly it's okay, fat. that's you calories. That, that's chewing fat right there. Mm -hmm. That's chewing fat. <laughs> <laughs> you, that's you can what just... you put on the bottom of the... You can well, just make blubber me, uh, nuggets. Let's put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> chewing fat. They're misinterpreted in several different ways. So much for trust me, I'm a captain. Just <laughs> Drew, put a marker across that and put a, that's chewing fat. <laughs> right, no problem. Mm -hmm. that's chewing trust fat. me, I'm there delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just get that fat and then use it. <laughs> you 
use it to train <laughs> wild monkeys. Pin. Oh, <laughs> that pin works. Yeah. You entice them with the fat, and then you can train them in order to build things for you. Or you could mine the inside of your coat work, on right? a winter night. Yeah. yeah. Martin, draw up plans for a coconut radio, <laughs> and if possible, a coconut Nintendo system. <laughs> uh, was, was that everyone answered? I believe so. Okay. It was pretty unanimous from some of you. Yep. Uh, I didn't answer. Oh, I just, oh, I just said I wasn't going to take Brandon. Let me guess. Oh, okay. bo- bootleg? <laughs> yes, I'm taking bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> not really answering. We already knew. Uh, let's see. Uh, have you ever had to fight to be on a legs play? No. Have we? I don't uh, think anybody no. has. I didn't think so, but I, my memory is bad, apparently. We don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> And suddenly, cards. We don't talk just about fight play. up into the top, <laughs> thinking about fighting with us. <laughs> Something about sexy hiking made him excited. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, there we go. That's where we belong. Just threw yourself <laughs> up. Okay, what's your opinion on the loot box controversy? I don't really know much about it, other than I think Overwatch does it fine. So, eh. I don't play games Shit. with loot boxes. Not yet, you don't. Oh, I'll take ten of them. <laughs> Steve, I'm just, gonna buy just you games like that in general. I I'll, don't find. I'll, okay, then I'll buy you. I can't believe it's not gambling. Oh yeah, that thing. And then what? it will s- sit and not be played. Well, I mean, you used to play uh, what should I call it? Warframe, didn't you? Doesn't that have loot boxes? No, that's a four D no. system. Yeah, it has some. Well, I, I mean it. I it has microtransactions. Yeah, you, you can buy stuff like that. Yes. Yeah. But microtransactions are slightly... It's a different kind of microtransaction. Loot boxes are just the worst kind. Or yeah. one of the worst kind. And like, you, also, yeah, none of it is... Like, it, it, everything you get in the boxes, you can get through playing the game. Yeah. yeah. How, how many hours did you have of that clocked in, by the way? Uh, just out of curiosity. Um, something over 1,200. But oh my god. It's a cooperative yeah. game as opposed to a PvP game yeah. where it's a lot more uh, yeah. balanced. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. is like With Overwatch, the reason they do it right is because it's all cosmetic. Because it doesn't mm-hmm. change yeah. the game at all. It's like, if you want to throw $100 at a bunch of loot boxes so that your Genji looks green now... Yeah, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> It'd be but... different like you know, if it's like, hey, you can't play Reinhardt unless you get him in a loot box. Yeah, well, see, that's the problem with... that's the. I think that's that the problem is... with the meta. We don't, have, uh, we don't have the Reinhardts and Orisas and loot boxes. Um, the shield the, meta too strong. <laughs> the uh, what's it called? Uh, Battlefront fiasco was that basically like you couldn't get you didn't these, progress in levels yeah. unless you got the levels in a loot box. Yeah, basically they put levels in a loot box. No, yeah. what they basically, did was they put uh, they put like the best upgrades and resources in loot boxes and made them basically you had to play like forty hours to attain like even like a basic upgrade. Whereas like you could anyone with a credit card could just get like hey, the $10. best ones. Yeah. So it's they basically had... a different version of how Battlefield was. Yeah. Yeah. Not only did they have loot boxes, they had different kinds of loot boxes. Yeah, so so like by playing, you got shitty ones, but you could buy good ones that were like guaranteed to have upgrades in them. Yeah. It was pretty horrible. I don't know. I, I, I'm more... See, to me, it's like, e- even cosmetics, like... I, I've been seeing a lot of people make a good point that, like, you know, ten years ago, cosmetics were something you got for being good at the game. They yeah. were, like, included yeah. in the game. Or you got yeah. them through an expansion pack. Yeah. yeah. They, they weren't something that, like, you had to buy as a microtransaction or find in a loot box. Um, but I still feel like, I feel like, again, I, I give credit to Overwatch because, uh, you know, they're continuing to keep servers up and to upgrade the game. Yeah. <laughs> How would you rate your pain, Cardsworth? <laughs> you know, that, that's something really weird to me. It's like, whenever, like, the concept of loot boxes come up, like, immediately people start talking about how Overwatch does it. Like, what about all the other games? Overwatch popularized it. It was like, after they came out and saw, like, success with it, then, like, every game started having loot boxes. Well, AAA. Yeah. yeah like, fucking, fucking NBA 2K18 yeah. has loot boxes in it. Wait, what? NBA 2K, most of the 2K games now have loot boxes. And, yeah. like, the, like especially the MMA one, you have to, like, it unlocks moves. I mean, do you, yeah. do you, do you know that Belgium is putting up a, a ban on loot boxes? Yeah, because they're technically gambling. Well, yeah. That's good, good for them. Yep. Although all card games are pretty much inherently loot boxes. <laughs> yep. Just loot boxes are just an idea to I take. I guess Belgium is banning Yu-Gi-Oh! next. Yep. A lot of people have tried. <laughs> Sorry, Belgium. Um, 
But yeah, that was, that, that was interesting. Won't make sense to you. Oh, um, oh, here we are again. Who among <laughs> the le- the le- legs players do you think would win at thumb wrestling? Everyone, just real quick, hold out your thumb. Who's got the biggest thumb? That's obvious. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know, let, let actually. Let me see how this works. I mean, uh, I don't know. That's actually, wise, I want to see. Yeah. That, yeah. that is I a stubby know. thumb right there. That is stubby, but you do have that, <laughs> that, that little that thick area in between the... I'd have to say Cardsworth or Drew. Drew feels like he has the strongest thumb, but Cardsworth has the biggest thumb. I mean, I, I, I feel like guys, we should answer that question right guys, now. he has training weights on his <laughs> thumb. Yeah, he, he has <laughs> piccolo <laughs> training weights. Yeah, he's got big, thick rings. You guys can't see it. He's going to take, take him, him off, and suddenly his thumbs are a blur. You can't even see him. Like, yeah, <laughs> so then does that mean I have to spend, like, two episodes charging my thumb attack, Goku? <laughs> yes, you do. It's in the contract. You have to watch someone else lose at thumb wrestling and get really angry. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, and then I have to avenge that thumb. <laughs> yep. His thumb transforms and then goes against Brandon and just breaks it off. <laughs> and then Cartsworth uses the pain of loss yeah. at his co-worker dying. <laughs> or not dying, but getting his thumb broken. And it was like, no. he unlocks his hidden potential and becomes the thumb. <laughs> his entire body morphs into a thumb and just smashes <laughs> him into the ground. <laughs> Oh, he was this spoken is, of a myth in myth. This is just like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> just like, uh, get, get on it, Japan. I'm surprised there's not a thumb wrestling <laughs> anime already. You make, uh, made a cooking there anime. <laughs> there might be. I mean, they, there might be. A I mean, they turned like NBA and stuff, like college basketball into some kind of like superhero thing, so... <laughs> Every sports thing. I thought it was volleyball. No, there there, was basketball. It's both. Every oh, sport. There's basketball, and then there's also a volleyball, and there's. Don't even get me started on Hajimo. On a, Hajino, Hajimo did. I mean, that's a boxing thing, though. Yeah, that's, but the, that's the already way that fighting. They stylize it makes it seem like boxing is a lot more movement than it really is. Remember Shaolin soccer? Yeah, I and, love Shaolin soccer. And then they made Kung Fu Dunk. The second best movie by that. They game. made what? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not as good as Shaolin Soccer. Uh, There's no like dunking where like the ball gets covered in flame that turns into a roaring flame tiger that oh. runs through the air. Well, then what's the point? A, a lot. Just... Apparently, the soundtrack. Oh, yeah? It's like dank Japanese rap. Ooh. <laughs> and also, they still do like a bunch of like wire food dunks and okay. stuff like that. No, that uh, so- Shaolin Soccer was not wire food. That was. Completely CGI at points. Oh, yeah. That, that was crazy. Like, they, they turned into a giant human per- uh, pyramid, and it was just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just... <laughs> Great. There was the time that goalie threw, like, 30 shoes at everyone. That was cool. <laughs> remember that part? I remember. I, yep. I, again, it's my second favorite movie from that guy. Um, 18 minutes in. I got 12 more minutes to fucking <laughs> fuck up. If, if, if you want. Oh, um, oh, no. I'm taking my 12 minutes. Um, I get no airtime. Mm. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you what? How do you how, feel? How you? I don't think I can legally answer that question. <laughs> uh, I have rage that makes me want I to uh, assault people. I can't tell you that answer because only can, I can only answer when am I. When are you? Now. Oh, right, wow. Cool. Interesting. Right, well. When aren't you? Oh. If, if, then. If you could change one thing about YouTube, what would it be? Everything? Can, can I, everything? Everything? If it were me, in, if the it entirety were me, I would of just YouTube make a Twitch. Would... <laughs> I'll just make a Twitch. That's how we fix it. Ah, so it's just nothing but, but titty girls getting getting their cams and everything. That's you not what Twitch is. You can't have nudity on Twitch. You can get really close. Mm-hmm. It's, I, what was it? Critical made like a, a Twitch rewind, and it was just, just all like girls flaunting. I don't know, I, I don't really stay on Twitch, so I don't know if that's a problem, but everyone seems to think it's a huge deal. Well, think about your fan base. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. But no, what was it? They, they were showing this girl who had, like, a creative stream where yeah. she, like, makes pottery. Yeah. But she had, like, one camera in the corner that was focused on the pottery. And then she had, like, two cameras, like, literally pointed at her crotch, one from behind and one from in front. So she had, like, a pussy cam and an ass cam. What? And then like a titty cam. So there were like four four cameras at once, and three were on her body, and one was on what she was actually doing. I was like, that's a little bit ridiculous. So TV in general. <laughs> TV in general. Yeah, it doesn't bother me, but I know it bothers a lot of people. Eh. But to change YouTube, um... I, I honestly just want the comments to be more like 
I guess more like Reddit comments, where you can comment to a specific person instead of just putting on a, like a huge thread where the only way to talk to someone is to like at them. Like having any sort of discussion, like that's why the YouTube comments are such shit because you can't have an actual like back and forth with anyone. You it just used to evolves. be able to. Yeah. yeah, it just evolves into a huge mess. Yeah. In general, make YouTube into all YouTube. <laughs> Ten minutes only. <laughs> no thumbnails unless you've got twenty thousand subscribers. Is that how it used to be? Uh, I forget. They... I remember like the time limit, but the thumbnail is that. I a, remember that they, a thing? they used to you not. You used to not be able to make your own thumbnails. They used to, like, just make them for you. Yeah, it just make it based off the video. Because yeah. I remember watching, uh, Philip DeFranco was talking about, like, his first year in YouTube. Is he the only person you watch on YouTube? No, but I watch him and he's been on it since, like, the beginning. So he was talking about in his early video, he was, like, watching one of his early videos. It's, like, nine minutes long. And then in the middle, there's just, like, a picture of a thumbnail. Like, he'd go and be like, one second, here's the thumbnail. And then it shows up. Because if you hold on it for five seconds, YouTube will pick it up as diverse and make it the thumbnail. Huh. That was the workaround they had. It was huh. that you couldn't choose the thumbnail. You just had to put it at a certain time in the video, and then it would show up as the default thumbnail. Clever. Yeah. Ting. Anyone else? Um, they should make porn allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use YouTube enough to really have. A, yeah, a we need more bootleg shuffles, Drew. Yeah, I haven't. I've been slacking. Mm. Um, but other than that, yeah, no, I don't really know. Dan? Huh? <laughs> 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 huh? Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Were we answering well, something? Dan's actually making progress. So. He hasn't gotten farther than Drew yet. Though. Shut up! He's, you know, <laughs> pretty close though. The game agrees. Yep. If he gets to the top of that little bit, he is. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he's supposed to go up. I'm working on it! <laughs> There's another, another, another Yu-Gi-Oh! thing. Uh, I guess card game in general. What deck takes the most skill to pilot and or build? Uh, that would be Trick Stars, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> oh no, Quasar! There's nothing better than sitting there and watching someone do combos for ten minutes. Um... For me, it would be any what? deck, because I don't build them. <laughs> yeah, the, saying something as... I mean, they require different kinds of skills to make different decks. Um, I personally think that toolboxes are the most difficult, because you have to get the right ratios and make sure that you have plans for everything. Plus, when you play it, you actually react to your opponent. You, like, pick the thing that counters them instead of just like, I'm going to make this board, and if it doesn't <laughs> work, then, then shit happens. I think, like, the most complicated one for me to learn was, like, Christrons, just because yeah. I wasn't used to, like, doing stuff on their turn. Yeah. So that just took me <laughs> a while to That's a trap card, out. honey. What? You can use trap cards on your opponent's turn. Yeah. Carry but, on. But, but <laughs> trap Christrons play almost entirely on their opponent's turn. Hmm. It's, like, it's like just getting used to, like, doing your setup correctly for their next turn to happen and, like, be having stuff ready in case they counter it. That, I think that was just the most difficult part of it, because like if you can pull it off, Christians are psycho. I love Christians. Uh, what was it? I've been playing uh, Metaphysics recently. Interesting thing about them, they play their entire turn in your opponent's standby phase. <laughs> like, it goes into their standby phase, and then like eight effects activate. You've got to choose <laughs> the right order to do them in. It's so fucking weird. Um, yeah, Cardsworth, did you have anything to input on that? Or are you still trying to climb? Huh? You got seven minutes to get better than Drew. I hope you use it wisely. Um, okay, here, here's one I think everyone can... can uh, what are your favorite animes? Animu. Animu. I love Animu. I'm Boy not a weeaboo, house. though. You don't have to be. <laughs> no, Brandon. Cory in the house. Cory. Brandon is not an anime, <laughs> not an anime either. <laughs> I think Avatar is my favorite anime. <laughs> oh, that... Controversial 2012. Johnny Test. Johnny Test. <laughs> 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 uh, Run Stimpy. I, my favorite is still uh, Trigun, even though it's really outdated and didn't age well. That oh, was no, probably my most uh, influential. Even when they touch that um, thing up, it's still very, very. Like, yeah. Do movies count? I really like, like anime th movies too. I would yeah. Guess. Paranoia Agent too. I want to throw that in yeah. there. Oh yeah. Very good. I love Paranoia Agent. Um, but yeah, go ahead, James. So, I think like. Anime-wise, it's a movie called Straight Jacket. 
Never heard of it. You, damn oh. you, James. You never change. I don't care. I love that movie. Yeah, it it's basically like uh, it, like imagine if it was the 1930s, like 30s or 40s, mm -hmm. but um, magic exists and it's been integrated into technology. So they have Ooh. like they have like magically ran uh, suits that you have to wear, otherwise like magic would corrupt your body and turn you into a monster. And the whole premise is that uh, there's a group of people that basically hunt the monsters when they happen. Uh, cool. So like if your uh, if your suit malfunctions, you would become one of the monsters. So they called the people in those uh, molds. They called them is what they called them. They would call them straight jackets. Uh, they go and die and it's crazy. Because basically, it's like their job is to kill the monsters, but by fighting the monsters in these suits, they risk becoming monsters themselves. Lest you become monsters. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So they call them crazy. Um. <laughs> I already See. have mine locked and loaded in first. Yeah, you go. No, no, I mean, like, I'm going to go last because I have more explanation than anyone Go else. ahead, Steve. He's thought about this. I, uh, hey, this question on the I mean, a singular best anime series, um, I would have to say uh, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex and the second gig. I don't think anything will ever surpass that. Hmm. So much junk. I do, I do really enjoy those series. Um, the, the Arise series that came out most recently. Terrible. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I've heard that it was garbage. Yeah, it was mm. not worth watching at all. The animation looked bad. Mm. Well, that that and just everything, like it, 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 the way they stylized all the technology was so cheesy. They they, they, they they gave all the suits like um, was it those those little light up. Uh, they, they gave them all light up shoes basically. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Everybody gets yeah, these are your dudes. stealth it's suits. It's like middle school all over again. <laughs> it's the future. Everyone has light up wheelies. You know, Akira, let's cool. Let's make them into shoes. Yep. Like it, no, no, I have no, their backstories lined up with the rest of the <laughs> canon or anything. Yep. Stupid. You, ever, you ever see the Ghost in the Shell manga? Uh, I, I, I've read nothing. bits of it. Yeah, I've heard that it's like it, half porn. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I mean, yeah. We have books. Well, I, I mean, yes. he, um, like Motoko's like a lesbian, and you know that, that's what they spend a lot of the bits. They of spend a lot more time on well, that. The, the um, <laughs> the the artist who created it has uh, done a fair bit of porn. Um, that's pretty much where most uh, anime and art stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's some sort of product. But um, don't go that way. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna say something. Oh, sorry. Uh, I have a couple answers, I guess, and I know that goes against the principle of the question. But... I, put, I put like two in there. Okay, yeah. but mine would have to be, so just out of pure, I put time into it, and it's been around for as long as I have been watching anime, uh, Naruto as a series. Okay. Um, but then I'd have to say the most influential for me, like in my favorite to watch, is probably Full Out Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. And then, if I'm being honest with myself, I love Devil as a part timer. The Devil is a part timer. If you've never watched it, just watch it. It's fun. It's dumb, but it's great. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous. Then huh? uh, uh, the answer I mean, can't be Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, it can. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is an anime. Yeah, and clearly. American animation. No, it's, no, it's, 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 it's from Japan. Japan. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, then it's an anime. It was on four kids, so yeah, it was already butchered by America. Yay. They did that thing where they edited out all the guns. Oh, yeah, that's so right. they were like literally just pointing their Finger, fingers at yeah. people. Pegasus! Sometimes they had walkies. Yeah, walkie-talkies. Walkie-talkies that could fire sound. W would that be your, your favorite anime? It's like the only anime that or Pokemon. Oh, okay. No, okay. Gotta catch them all. Did you, did you have other ones you wanted to add in, Steve? Like yeah. second best or anything? Like Songi? Uh, or recommendations, perhaps? What? Uh, other recommendations. Second best, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean... Ugh. Well, Last Exile, I love the first series, not the second series. That was like steampunk. Mm, yeah. It was some sort of <laughs> a, minute, a minute left, let's go down. <laughs> let's go down, take it all in again. Well, I guess a lesser I'll known, my keys. like, odd thing for me to like was uh, an anime called uh, Princess Jellyfish. Oh, yeah, that one was really like, fun and bouncy. Just, just good, good slice of life story right there. Slice of life. All right, go ahead, Brandon. All right. I'll get my uh, let my range. thesis begin. 
Well, if hold on, if he's gonna be on his thesis, he should be playing while he's thesising. Okay. Mm, good point. Go tag out for Brandon. Is it. This uh, is the longest episode. Three hours later, and the the subtle nuances of this show cannot be understated. If you say JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and then talk about subtle nuances, I will actually hurt you. <laughs> why would I say that? There's nothing subtle about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That's why it would hurt you. If you JoJo said that. was a man, man who thought he was okay, alone. Okay, how do I get you, out of you this? You gotta quit. Hit escape. Okay. Go to quit. And then you gotta okay, go to the new game. All right. We gotta pick one. We you got have Brandon to show us playing. that you can beat the tree. Let's see if I can get to past five minutes. All right, new game. All right. Oh, wait for the cutscene. Yep, you gotta get oh. all the Yosemite. He's acts, evolving. Right? Dun, Yosemite dun, dun, dun. There we go. Brandon's we got a man favorite, pot. Brandon's favorite anime has got to be Free Eternal Summer. Yeah, no, that's you. You're the one who bought that. I have the first season. I haven't even watched it yet. Yeah, I know. Uh, th you this keep game saying. should have DLC for like different characters you can play as. Or different hammers, microtransactions. Yeah. Yeah. If you get over it, you get a loot box. <laughs> A single loot box. <laughs> it has one of four things in it. Three of them are like literally what are the buttons to change like the middle uh, fingers. The, the uh, picture of the uh, designer too. giving you a no, middle finger. No, it's just the other one. They're different shades of gray. <laughs> Ooh, wow, yeah, that is incredibly sensitive. All right. But anyway. Okay, favorite anime is uh, really one of two animes. Yeah, that one's gonna be way too slow for you to do anything, Brandon. All right. You need to go back to the default. This is gonna be. My. <laughs> this yeah. Focus on the story, not the game. <laughs> favorite anime. My favorite anime is, uh, without a doubt, es Escaflone, which is uh, a 90s anime that really... The anime or the movie? The anime, uh, then the movie, then the manga, because... Yeah, they had mechs that were driven by blood in, like, the 1800s. Mm, well, actually, it's uh, not. It's in the present time. It's just in a magical world uh, parallel to our own. It's in one of them weird magical Excuse worlds where it becomes me, magic. Yeah. Oh, the, <laughs> uh, the actual story starts off in normal Japan. So, well, as normal as Japan can get. Um, and I just really liked it because it's an interesting fantasy setting. Yeah, I'm just. That, was, no. that, was that your whole build up? It was like, I liked it because it's interesting. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> is that the thesis? No, my thesis strong. is also uh, well I'm going it. to berate uh, in the entirety of Sword Art Online and how. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's Sword berating. Sword Out Online is terrible. Sword Out Online is just terrible. Took, it just took some people a couple seasons to realize how terrible it was. Yeah, no, uh... Uh, I'm gonna say so this... you're saying it's your favorite anime. And <laughs> that is relevant to the question. Uh, no, it's, uh... Sword Out Online is terrible, and I like it's, uh... The, uh... Better version of that Log Horizon, which has actual characters and a game that makes frickin' sense. When Sword Art Online was like a uh, slice of life anime for like two episodes, it was really good. But first two episodes were solid. No, no, not even the first two. It was like oh. in the middle somewhere. Like, <laughs> There's just these random two episodes about like just going around watching how each character deals with you know daily life in the video game, and mm. I was like, that's really interesting. And then it went back to nonsense, yep. which was the entirety of the show. All right. Any other animes you want to bring up, Brandon? Uh. I hope my questions aren't complicated. What? Uh, Is that an anime? No, no, I'm just, yeah, <laughs> that's my newest anime. Yep. I'm, I'm writing it now. Actually, the question is, does he have questions? He has five questions. Yeah. Oh, crap, why do I have the most? Yep, I have the most. Oh, okay. uh, well, duh, you're hard like titular. <laughs> you can't see it, but I'm making a boastful gesture. <laughs> Should have worn your shirt. Okay. I, it doesn't fit. <laughs> should have ordered one that would. I did. They didn't send me the right one. You so should have just say, gotten the right one. Why are we talking like we in Jersey? You're, you're getting me back. started. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. You got me started. Okay, Don't get me started. Okay, Brandon, what is your worst Christmas memory? My worst Christmas memory. <laughs> Why are yours all emotional? <laughs> Start the violin music. Well, my worst Christmas movie. No. Uh, memory, uh, well... You want to get the rough shit, or do you want to get the actual, like... The worst. Worst Christmas? We want uh, the answer, answer the, the question. fucking question. No, because this is actually Stop really... Stop beating around the bush. What is it? I'm saying something. It's going to get a little personal. Okay. Well, come on, don't take all well, day. if it's something... I'm going to take Why all day. Why are you talking? Are you comfortable sharing Tell us a story. it? Don't push me. And try and get the weapons back. Yeah. Um, get them for that come damn on, we have all day. <laughs> I'm literally telling you don't push me again. Okay, um... Uh, the actual story is essentially 
uh, one Christmas, uh, yeah, I was, uh, went to my uh, uncle's and aunt's house, and yeah, my brother and my cousins uh, were, the polite way of saying this, playing doctor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, again, this is getting into some real weird shit. Um, this is appropriate for the... Yeah, again, this is why I was going to say, do you want me to get into this? Christmas or... incest, do you, do you want yay! Yeah. Um, <laughs> they asked the question, I'm giving the answer. <laughs> Essentially, the rest of that Christmas involved uh, uh, parents and adults yelling and then us leaving, and, uh, yeah. It was a bad time. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, it, it, whoever asked that one. Thanks, yeah. Uh, <laughs> You're the best. You have derailed the game. Uh, I feel like that could be an everyone question. Yeah, let's go for everyone question on that one. Well, that, it was everyone's I... worst Christmas. Uh, my mom almost died. That was fun. That's always fun. How, yeah. How, how was that? She was she was doing one of that, uh, it was like a weight loss surgery, and uh, she has an extreme allergy to alcohol, and the nurse that she had is an idiot and did not read her chart. So she gave her some medicine that had alcohol in it, and uh, she had to have her stomach split in two pieces. Huh. I was there And that. Uh, that was the result of that, and they were. I'm surprised they didn't sue over that, actually. They didn't? Nope. But she, uh, because the, she did that, she had to spend an extra two months in the hospital, and uh, she now associates Christmas with almost dying. So that was fun. And Anybody else got a happy one? Happy almost death day. Well, I got yeah. a fun one. Well, that's not the question. I don't care. I got a, well, a fun worst Christmas. <laughs> well, I mean, like Gremlins. Have you seen that movie? <laughs> I mean, well, Santa Claus was like dead. Most things in my life involved alcohol. <laughs> Do you still remember it somehow? Well, no, it's. <laughs> well, yes, but shut up. All right, so. The story goes that me and my uncle Jeff used to uh, used to hang out during Christmas, and he was just a raging alcoholic. I mean, even more hardcore than I was at my peak. And uh, hey! Yay, hey! it's and a Christmas so miracle. He would get, I mean, just shit faced on Christmas uh, on eggnog and bourbon. And uh, one year, we lost him in the woods. Don't ask me how. What? Don't, yeah, so we lost him in the woods, and so I had to spend Christmas looking for my uncle in the woods. And that just sounds weird. Were, were it's a Christmas like, tradition. Were you guys, like, walking through the woods and got lost, or did he just leave the house so and go my, walking? Yeah, my house is right next to, my Aww. backyard is, like, Castlewood Park. And so he just ran into Castlewood, and we don't... We You're didn't telling like, people where you live, Drew. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Castlewood's huge. Yeah, you don't yeah. even know what side... Yeah, so, uh, but he just <clears throat> ran off into the woods, and we had to go chasing him. So for Christmas, we chased my uncle, my drunken uncle Jeff, in the woods. That sounds fun. Yeah, it was actually kind of fun, but it was it was still Make like that a tradition. It was still really <laughs> embarrassing for my cousin, and it was just like you I know, really imagine. awkward for us. Yeah, so it was that was probably the worst Christmas I've had. Christmas That's, uncle hunt. Yeah, the Christmas <laughs> uncle hunt is probably the worst Christmas I had. Yay! Uh, how about you, Steve? Uh, I've had you know. I guess the last good Christmas was when I was, like, a kid and didn't know better. It was the last good Christmas, and they've all been bad <laughs> since then? They've all been, you know, mediocre and stagnant. But nothing, no, you didn't have to chase a family member? No, I no, mean... Nobody died? No one died or yelled at each other or almost died? No, it's all been just, like, you know... That's good. Same old so shit at home. Yeah, sometimes mediocre is, is worse than, than tragedy. Is it? If it's constant. Like, would you rather have, like, ten great Christmases and then one horrible Christmas, or eleven mediocre Christmases? That's a good question. Just oh, that's been the last six years for me, so, okay. How about you, Dan? Any bad Christmas stories? Um, yeah, the second one, they didn't need to make it. Oh! 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 Dig deep, Dan. What, 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 tell some personal stories about your Christmas. I don't have any stories about my Christmases. We've, it's all been all boring and unadventurous. Do you spend them with your family? Yes, more or less. What do you do? What are your, your traditions? We don't normal? do anything. Yes, we're basically normal. Like I, whether that's oh, to say oh. or not, 
I don't know. <laughs> you're normal. What is normal to you? Wait, if you're normal, that puts you in the minority. Normies. Yeah. <laughs> Friggin' normies. Well, I, can't say normal anymore for most things. It's not politically correct anymore. Everything's got to have a label. What if I, you're from normal, that, whatever the state, uh, I think is normal Alaska. Uh, I don't know. Are they normalians? I mean, I, I haven't really had any bad Christmases either. I mean, my grandma died one Christmas, but she was like... <laughs> Christmas? But not yeah. the next Christmas. Yeah, but, uh, I don't know. There's something about it because she was born on Christmas and died on Christmas. Huh. So it was almost like... Oh, like almost holy. The plus, cycle has been completed. Plus, she had cancer for like a year, and we knew she was dying. Ah. So it's like it's one of those things. Like you kind of know it's coming. Yeah. So it's not really like that bad. Um, I, my uncle like got drunk and like yelled at me one year, because he was. I used to bring rock band to Christmas, um, and he was like, he was like super into like Nirvana, like. Like, when he was younger, he was like, that was how he discovered music. And then when Kurt Cobain killed himself, he was, like, devastated for months on end. So, when when he heard, like, Nirvana coming out of a video game system, he took it as, like, a personal affront that I was, like, sacrilege to his, his favorite band. Especially when he was drunk. He's like, this isn't real music, man. I'm like, no, it's just a game. He's like, music isn't a game, it's a life. You fuckers don't understand. It surrounds us, binds oh. us, penetrates us. If if you want to go uh, oh. go really dark though, that uncle did eventually kill himself, mm. uh, in the same way that Kurt Cobain did. Oh. oh, yes, it was it was terrible for my cousins. And that he I, took more drugs than the human body can handle, and then somehow still shot himself. Uh, without the drug stuff, he just he shot himself in the face with a shotgun. Damn. Yeah. Which, I mean, it, it's sad, but, uh, you know, that was several years ago, and the only memory, most of the memories I have of him are him being grumpy, so, eh, you, know, you, just, you just go on, you move on. Everyone has sad things in their life, you just gotta deal with it. Alright, next like, question. It, 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 Is there a happy like, question next, please? I, I find, like, uh, like nowadays, I, like, uh, I just don't look forward to Christmas. Like, it was, uh, like, as a kid, it was always just, like... Because, you know, there was something you wanted. Yeah. Or, or, or what have you. But, like, nowadays it's just it's just another time to get together with family or whatever. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, Brandon, what's your favorite pun? Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, no. No. <laughs> favorite pun? I thought we wanted a happy question. <laughs> this only causes more depression. Oh. Do you have a favorite? Or is the one I make on the fly. Are all puns? And I'm being serious. The one I make on the fly is my favorite one at the moment. Unless it's, it, it all sounds... All of your puns are ones you make on the fly. And will, that's why will, I love all of them. I, they're you... like picking my favorite child. I can't do it. <laughs> There's so many. There's so many. I'm it's a whore for puns. <laughs> oh, that explains why all your puns are horrible. Ah. <laughs> is that your new favorite one? <laughs> no. Oh. Not at his expense. <laughs> will, will you ever return to Yu-Gi-Oh! or the Yu-Gi-Oh! shows? Uh, I will return to the shows. Uh, to Yu-Gi-Oh! as a general like rule, I was never really a part of it. Kind of like Batman isn't part of the Justice League. Nerd! He okay. just called oh, himself yeah. Batman. <laughs> no, I'm just saying like he's very part-time and he's just like, I'll, I'll be a part of it. I'll do whatever, man. Fuck, shit. Not gay, but twenty dollars is twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to pay me for that. Uh, uh, what's a game that you want me to play on Legs Play? You to play? Yeah. What's a game you specifically want me to play? I want you to play Cat Mario, you little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, no. I'm um, surprised if... you were so offended by Cat Mario. Oh, that was my first Let's Play, and I didn't. Nah. You didn't know it was coming. I didn't see it coming. Yep. Should have just. I didn't play worms. Yeah. But no, uh really a game that I'd want to see you play? Yeah. Oh. Ah. Give me a sec here. Ice climber. Um Is it this one? Because you'll get your wish soon. No, 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 no. That that joke is already sailed. Uh yeah. Driver. <laughs> on the PlayStation One. Actually I already got my wish on that. I wanted you to see to see you play Legaya so bad. <laughs> I was the biggest proprietor of that. Proprietor is not the right I word. know, not the right term, okay. whatever. Uh, and last one, what does CV stand for? Whatever you feel like, baby. Come bucket. <laughs> oh, wow. Come bucket radio. Pay 50 bucks. 50 bucks is 50 bucks. 
I thought it was 20. Can't breathe. No, that's... Uh, if I have to <laughs> fill a bucket, it's 50. <laughs> Carbon peroxide. Uh, peroxide. Peroxide's a thing, right? Can't beat, Brandon. Uh, okay. Let's see. Back to the everyone questions. What is your favorite weapon to commit murder with? What are we using right now? <laughs> A Yosemite pick. pick. <laughs> That's it. I mean, you, you can't really beat your bare hands. <laughs> uh, you got fingerprints and knuckle prints well, and no, stuff. Well, no, like, a, a, as far as favorite goes, I mean, like, there's nothing you enjoy more than, you know, having... Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I like you get to watch the life drain out of their eyes. I, I like a well-timed explosion. Actually, if I'm going to go with something, I like my bow. Hunting bow. Mm. Hunting bow. Be like the we. Most cunning prey of all. Mm. Be like we need to talk about. <laughs> Has anyone ever here seen the movie We Need to Talk About Kevin? Yes, actually, no. I've nope. seen enough of it. I've never heard of it. It's it's uh, a <laughs> the most nonsensical it, way to kill people. It's like the most artsy like horror film that like I didn't know it was a horror film until like uh, two hours into it. I don't say something. <laughs> how old, how long is it? It's like two hours long. So, so basically the, the end. ending, you're like, oh, this was a horror movie, Basically, okay. <laughs> I was watching the commentary afterwards, and they explained it, and I thought, like, because it's basically about this woman who has this kid, and he's, like, just really, like, disturbing and weird. Uh, oh, he's, right. like, ultra smart, um, but he, like, only uses it to be, like, assholes to people, and then at the end, he goes on a school shooting with a bow. Right. But he, like, he buys all these, uh, they're, like, locks for your bike, and he puts them on the doors to the school, and then just, like during a stadium, just, like, bows a bunch of people. Uh, and manages to get, like, eight, nine people before they right. stop him. Somehow. Right. Um, but, yeah, it, it just... It sort of just randomly evil for no reason. Yeah. yeah I, I thought they kept... They were trying to set up something about, like, how... Like, some, some they're, like, they're trying to say something about kids or raising kids or school shootings, but they weren't. It was just supposed to be, like... It was the mother's horror story. Like, what if you had a kid who was just a monster, and no matter what you did to train him, he was just, like, evil? Hmm. Well, that's the problem. You're trying to train him. Yeah. Well, so there, there's a bunch of it. I mean, I remember the movie. I, I'm not sure if I would recommend it. But there's stuff, like, even when he's a baby, like, whenever the mom is around, he cries, like, nonstop. Oh, uh, I remember And then as soon days. as she leaves the room, he just, like, stops. Yeah. That's and then, right. like, I remember this. he refuses to be potty trained well until he's, like, six years old or something. He just, like, refuses to go in the bathroom. And then one Back day... The start again. Yep. Yep. There we are. And then, what was it? One one time, he just, like, shits himself to spite his mom. Like, she's in a hurry and she has to change his diaper. And then he's like, wait one second, like, and squeezes out another shit. And then, so then, she's, like, changing him and he's, like, taunting her. So he, like, throws her across the... She throws him across the right. room and breaks his arm. And she's, like, so freaking out because yeah. she's like, I fucking hurt my kid and he's right. gonna, like, everyone... Uh, and then he, like, doesn't tell anyone. He's right. like, I fell. And, like, specifically just holds it over her for years and uh. years. Just to sort of, like, keeps looking her in the eyes like, you know what you did. <laughs> um, sorry, I got really distracted. What was that question? <laughs> oh, yeah, favorite weapon to commit murder with. Oh, that was it? All yeah. Right, yeah. All right, sorry. Um, we got bare hands, we got bow, explosives. Nathaniel, you got anything good? Comment in the comment with your Christmas murder weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go with an icicle. It melts away and leaves no trace. <laughs> you fired out of a gun. Mythbusters is full of shit. <laughs> just because they didn't do it, just because they couldn't do it doesn't mean it's not possible. Out of a gun, you know, just, just, just like a little stabbing with the icicle. Yep. But like, Somebody else's you hand. Need, you frozen... still need gloves, though. You need uh, the gloves because you can't grip it. You get, you get a frozen leg of lamb and beat your husband to death with it and then serve it to the police when they come question. <laughs> and then they eat the evidence. <laughs> I, read, uh, I read a short story about that in high school. That's fantastic. <laughs> How uh, was the lamb? I'm trying to think of something funny. Cause Murderously delicious. Every, everything I need is kind of funny to me. It was pretty killer. It was... uh... <laughs> that's my favorite pun. Okay. Brandon, how did you get the coffee cup higher than it started? <laughs> Skill. That's the, the only thing that I'm good at is making things happen that really shouldn't have happened. Okay, here's another one, another Yu-Gi-Oh based one. Um, what's an art style or theme or mechanic that you'd like to see them put into Yu-Gi-Oh? Hmm. 
I want to see more Christmas cards. I want a Rudolph that can search Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, I have this complaint every time I talk about Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'd like to see a uh, another wind archetype that sticks around longer than five months. No archetype sticks around longer than five months. Well, I mean, months. it's just... Except not for, like, protagonist archetypes. That people will still use with, like... And people still use Yosenjus. They do? You have that deck. Yeah, Yosenjus are still, like, a pretty decent rogue contender. They made more support for them. Okay, because I'm just like, the only ones I can think of are harpy ladies that just like, that never have gone out of style. Yeah. And everybody, there, there's a, like five or six for every other element. Like, oh yeah, what about wind? Well, there's just harpies and, yeah, harpies. Harpies you have and gust, gust, you got gustos. No, yes, gustos they, are... They exist. Speed roids. There you go. Oh yeah, yeah. Wind witches. I mean, those are new though. So, yeah, yeah, there's only three. So then, my, there's my, only five my, wind witches. My, yeah. My, uh... How about you, My James? Konami prayers may have been answered. Um, I don't know. Cardsworth? Uh, no. I'm surprised I've gone this long. So, Drew, I assume you'd want to see elves implemented into Yu-Gi-Oh! from your magic? Celtic I just Guardian, want to see we've already be, got an elf. I just want to see it be magic. <laughs> <laughs> and I already got my wish, so I don't need to. I, okay, I, I tell you what I would like to see in Yu-Gi-Oh! Is a set along the lines of like unhinged, unglued, yeah, and unstable un sets are great. Oh, just the which, fun, the joke ones. Yeah, in Magic they've got those three sets now that are just joke sets. There's a great card where it's uh, it's the high five the puss where it's like or something like that where like you play it and you go around the room and high five as many people as you can and you gain one life for each person you high five. <laughs> it's amazing. Interesting. I did it in the stadium one time and I was a god. I, I assume you have no opinion, Steve. Uh, I want to see wet farts implemented. <laughs> <laughs> I want a wet fart archetype. New from Konami. Next week. Next... Oh, I got, I got my for the previous question, my murder weapon. Okay. Uh, can it be a series of like random cartoonish weapons, like uh, anvil, an anvil. Acme arsenal? Yeah, like, yeah, an, like, yeah. like, <laughs> like I want to drop like old timey things on people. I'm just gonna drop yeah, a like black and white works. piano specifically. Yeah, why, like, yeah, why do you keep carrying piano. around a piano? Okay, first an anvil, then a safe, then yeah. a, uh, an old timey piano. Yeah. Why do you yeah, carry? Those, a, like, those are my preferred murder weapons. And then a personal jet. You just yeah. see, you just see, like Drew. Why are you carrying a piano? Yeah, Somebody gonna worry, look but... at me funny at some point. <laughs> No, just like you see me rigging up. What's that for? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it ain't for you, so don't worry about it. Mutually assured destruction. <laughs> <laughs> they kept making they bigger and bigger else. pianos. <laughs> I put it on the grand piano. They kept asking if they could, not asking okay, if they, they should. should. Brandon, you can't ask why you carry around a piano. Didn't your D&D &D character carry around a table forever? <laughs> yes, but that's only because that table saved my life. What? Okay, okay well, yeah. favorite Dark Souls game and why? I like the first one because it's the only one I've played so far. <laughs> Lords of the Fallen? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, you son of a bitch. Uh, you're a terrible person. You're not allowed to Steve, answer anymore. have you played any of the Dark Souls? I haven't played any of them, but if I did play one, it would probably be Bloodborne. Because that seems the most interesting to me. It's got guns. Just the, the you know... We'll, ju so, we'll just so say that they said blood. blood uh, that they said uh, Souls board. Yeah. Any yeah. Souls based. We'll just go with that. Any Close FromSoft out. game. Let's just. Yeah. Well, if you say that, then you're like, well, I guess we're including Armored Core. I want more Armored Core. Screw yeah. you. Wait, is Armored Core FromSoft? Yep. Yeah. That's a terrible game though. <laughs> I love that game. The first couple of Armored Core are great. It's and then once they, kept they going. got going. They got they got extreme with it. Which they're, when they're talking about giant robots, that's hard to do. Well, I mean, for a console armor core, it got to the point where, like, every item could be dropped or unequipped, and everything had heat and, like, ammo that you could, like, pick up and stuff, and it just got overly complicated. Uh, I'd have to say mine is probably still Dark Souls 2, but Dark Souls 3 has grown on me, mostly because, um, in the DLC, you can get a spear that you can throw, and I made a whole Oh, the build. javelin. Yeah, the javelin, but I made a spear chucking native build out of it, where I just wore, wore a loincloth and invaded people, and ran around chasing them with spears, and I just throw the spear at them, and like, so they have these epic builds, but sometimes they lose to this, this guy in a loincloth throwing a spear. Well, for me, if we're going to be actual honest, I will have to say, though, uh, Souls, uh, Dark Souls 1, because it's the, the first one I fully completed, and I just, I remember that feeling. Dark Souls. You just do a little better each time. 
and then after you've beaten the final boss, you have to play again. Yeah, oh yeah. At least five more times, because it doesn't get real until New Game Plus 7. Mm. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I missed out a whole bunch by just beating the game once? Well, uh, there's, like there's like a... There's like a... There's like a... Uh, difficulty spike at like new game plus three or something like that and then at plus seven it becomes like ridiculous like you could have the best upgrades and everything and you would still have trouble this is why some people do a new, new game plus seven fists only run <laughs> which is my favorite ro run to watch yes <laughs> how, how about you cardsworth you played any of those games i, I like uh, uh lego dark souls 2 <laughs> <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. I want to see Lego Dark Souls. That seems so interesting. It's like cartoony, but still the difficulty curve is out the fucking wall. Yep. So everything brick breaking every five Speaking seconds. Speaking of Dark Souls, someone asked, "Will miracles ever be good in Dark Souls 3? Um, they are. You're just a scrub. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Yeah, actually, kind of. Oh snap. I mean, they got buffed um, like yeah, a lot, I, I and like they're it. they're really good, especially that the lightning bow. That thing is ridiculous. The lightning bow's good. I like uh, using, uh, what's his name's mace. I can't remember. The one who guards the girl who sells you miracles. Oh, um. Yeah, you. Fuck, what is that guy's name? Yeah, what yeah. is his name? I can't remember him because it's. I. Yeah. I like using his mace just for the wrath of God on a stick. Yeah, basically. And that one gives you poise. Yeah. All right. The mythical poise. What's, what's, some, what's a drink you like that uh, you think. That you're either like ashamed of, or you don't think other people would understand you liking, or what's your guilty pleasure drink, essentially? Hmm. I, I drink chocolate milk. I think they're talking about alcohol, but I don't drink alcohol. I don't either. I don't James, you're allergic alcohol. to it. You better not be drinking yeah. alcohol. Uh, Carsworth, you yeah. drink? Um, I know how to. I just <laughs> I choose to not drink alcohol. You've asked the, like, only one of us actually does drink, so... I mean, my... Drew's, like, Steve. Professor Drink back there, like... <laughs> I'm thinking about which one is, like, embarrassing. That's my... That was always my problem. Go with I've the never, fruity one. I'm just know. never ashamed of any drinks. <laughs> the only thing I'm ashamed of is I used to do this thing, and I think I've clearly, clearly told people, but if you've never heard on the, uh... Let's play before. I used to have this habit at parties of drinking from a pitcher instead of a glass. <laughs> and so I started out with a mixed drink, like a, just a screwdriver or something in a pitcher. But then I'd start adding other people's drinks from the party into my drink. And so I'm just ashamed. Like, you know how many times I probably got sick or something from that just because I added some random bitches, like, drink to my, to my concoction? It was like, by the end of the night, it'd be, like, pitch black and you could smell the alcohol from across the fucking hall. The was, game, the game was not... one time a sorority girl, like, tried to drink from it. And, like, the instant she got a whiff close range, she, like, started vomiting. And I had to, like, leave it away just for time. The game's not frozen. I've just given up. Uh, you only have two more minutes. <laughs> Alright, so, alright. Well, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it's fine. We don't have to go the whole thing. I was No, everybody else quit, did, so I'm gonna. Uh, except for James, but. You come this far, you might as well play it out. Don't be a pussy about it. Yep. I don't Drew even... still made it farther than anyone. Well. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you looked at his biceps, man? Steve, Steve I mean, has yeah, yet to go. They're time. actually not that toned right yeah. now. Yep. I was gonna say, none That's of us fine, drink because AGR. Drew drinks enough for all of us. <laughs> I, I, I like V8. My, my guilty treasure is that Drew drinks. One second. What, go, what was, you like V8, Steve? Yeah, I like V8. Could've a lot had, of people don't like V8. Could have had a V8. Could have had a V8, Slap though. No, Brandon! Careful. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I knew what I was doing. I'm just going to stay in my safe just zone. Sleep right there in your head in the corner. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> There's so many dumb Yu-Gi-Oh questions. I just I kind of want to skip over them, but I feel bad. Magic people... or spell? It's, if you could meet a Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist, who would you meet? I don't fucking care. Uh, None of them. Uh, the one with tits. Does Kaiba count? None of them have yeah. tits. <laughs> no, there, there was that. He's not a protagonist. One... He's an antagonist. There, there, there were two chicks in the first series. Mind yeah. I yeah, guess um... I guess they are. I I think they were talking about like the main protagonists. If I had to say main ones. Uh, either Yugi or Yusei, because Jaden can fuck off a cliff, and uh, whoever the fuck these other new kids are, I really don't care. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd want to meet Yugi because he's stupid enough to let me have his Exodia card. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Yugi, can I borrow your Exodia card? Well, alright, Weevil, just be mm. careful. 
<laughs> Just be careful. <laughs> They were my and then, grandfathers. And then know? later when he saw him, he didn't like punch him or anything. He was just sort of like, "I did oh, I'm my bad, man. Yeah. That was an accident." Um, Why do you do papyrus? No one wants to meet Joey Wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> I want to meet his sister. Any number of Brooklynese people in the Brooklyn. Okay, um, I'd meet Joey. I'd have a fine is, conversation is, with him about can, dragons. About dragons. <laughs> about dragons. <laughs> Is is there ever a game that I wanted you to play but you refused? I can't think um, of anything off the top of my head. Oh, uh, okay. thirty minutes are up. You're fired. All right, finally. <laughs> you <laughs> kill, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Everyone, switch or change places. I guess I'm going now. All right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Steve is going to try. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, this is empty. I, I hope That's it. Okay. If you don't have anyone to hang out with this Christmas, I hope you're enjoying this, like, three-hour-long party. Mm -hmm. Donate to the Patreon so we can get a bigger party next time. Yeah. Maybe some snacks. A couch. I have snacks. Do you want snacks? I ate them all. <laughs> Did you, eat? you didn't eat all of them. Give me those, though. I'm, I'm eating those. Just trees. <laughs> I have a Junior Jumbo Jack if you want it. I didn't need it yet. I'm not going to have that Junior Jumbo Jack. How about a fidget spinner? <laughs> <laughs> it's got lots of I've already iron. had three. Uh, Alan Wrench? Okay, here's... Recommend a Legs play that you were in, that you were the most happiest about. Tales from Space, Mutant Blobs Attack. That's Cardsworth's. I, I thought our I Am Bread was better. I Am Bread's a good one, too. But Tales of, That was the first one where I did the uh, rolling around at the speed of sound. I yeah. made that for Tales from Space. You can see the first instance of that. Well, my options are uh, one of three things, so... <laughs> <laughs> Dark Souls. The if one I, we finished. I guess Dark Souls, because we just finished it. Uh, no, just where just, they shared inaccurate information. Pokemon, you go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I still I'm not to, even fucking talking about that shit. No, I, I still need to make a video that's sort of like just because there's only three of them. I'll just say the other one that I'm in because that's just the only one I think that nobody really knows I was in. It's the you have to beat the game. Yeah, that was the first thing I was actually in, and Brendan was in it, so you can yeah. hear me give him I shit. I watched those. That was back when I actually still watched the legs plays every day. Nice. Um, now he doesn't care. Although the audio minutes. quality is horrible, <laughs> I'd say Thomas was alone was my, one of my shining moments. That was when he was still happy and young mm. and innocent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> before the corruption of Lisa. Before the beard. Well, <laughs> before my depression, but yeah. A sad state of affairs. Mm. Uh, how about you, Brandon? I'd love to say Batman, but we're not done with it, so... <laughs> I mean, Batman. they could still check out Batman. You can mm -hmm. hear me and Brandon talk about comics for hours on end. And probably most of it, like... In, uh, and Doberman. Yeah. There's that whole Doberman oh, yeah. sketch that was fun. The, the, the Doberman. I thought Doberman and... was ours. No. Yeah. Do then, no, have... Doberman, because we were talking about Batman, and mm -hmm. he, he was like, you know, Batman wants to scare people, so he dresses up like bats. I would dress up like a Doberman. I would just run out of an alleyway and be like, oh, no, 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 scare the shit out of people. <laughs> <laughs> That was how I, that, that I'd be the opposite of him. I wouldn't be sneaky at all. <laughs> People would be like doing drug deals, and they'd hear footsteps, and they'd be like, "Fuck, is that?" And they just hear it speed up, and they're like, "Run!" And you just hear me in the background, like, "Run, run, 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 run!" Get back here! And hey, on my Hard Leg Voyager trailer, I used a clip from Batman for mm. your name. So uh, thank you. Yep. You can you can pick Batman. It's acceptable. Um, mm. And how about you, Steve? Which of your many series would you recommend? Uh, I mean, everyone talks about worms. It's like the uh, it was one, the very first thing on the channel. It was the very mm -hmm. first thing. Um, I most like episodes of anything I had. Um, you do the what was it, Mick Pixel? For, you did that one. My favorite one. Uh, I, I oh. think of like of, of all the games I enjoyed the most. The it was probably uh, uh, Ultimate Chicken Ultimate Horse, Spy. I guess. Ah, what? We'll have to do more Ultimate Chicken Horse. Oh, yeah. Although people want to see us do uh, Rock of Ages 2. Apparently the... the uh, oh, what's pictures, a, pictures of Doberman. Apparently the campaign is two-player co-op. Literally mm -hmm. take selfies. I'm not people. sure if you'd be interested in doing that, Steve. <laughs> yeah, I, I said while we were playing that I'd be interested in doing oh, okay. it. Oh, okay. Awesome. We'll have to do that again. So yes, check, check those out. Um, Enjoying pretending that's a cigar, Drew. Mm -hmm. yep. How did you, cigar, how did you meet me? Uh, high school. Uh, w uh, I, I met him in middle school, actually. 
I've known Steve the longest, I think, out of any of you. We were in, what was that class called? Like, technology or something? They said you bunch of, do a bunch of random stuff on computers. I yeah. remember technology class. That was yeah. weird. Mm -hmm. I remember at that point, everybody was trying to sneak their way into playing RuneScape. Mm. And that was at the point where I didn't even know what the fuck it was, so I kept trying to get onto it just to see what the hell everybody kept trying to play it. <laughs> they didn't have the internet in, in our middle school at that time. But you're, like, younger than us, right? By a couple of years? Well, yeah, I was, was actually the youngest two years behind, here. I think. Ah, okay. <clears throat> actually, no. I'm 27. Why are you pointing at me? Like I'm, I'm the youngest I'm 23. one here. Yes, oh. I was the youngest of the last. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Well, uh, I met uh, Joe when he was mugging me uh, back in no, um, <laughs> high school. I don't have the strength to mug someone. <laughs> I'm too fat. It's just like that <laughs> idea of like you were mugging me and like you know you have a good voice. <laughs> <laughs> you want to you want to be on a YouTube channel? In like you know seven years or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, I actually met. Uh, hard leg because uh, I hang out with dead leg, and uh, at the time hard leg and dead leg were playing uh, were playing D and D together, and so we they need Frank needed a book for a uh, one of the books for to make his newest character, and so I just was like, all right, I'll tag along. I'm not doing anything after school, and uh, I just see Joey pull up in his car, and I was like, oh, hey. Up. And I believe we had the awkward conversation because I didn't know what D and D was at the time. Like I knew of it, but I thought it was just for nerds. <laughs> and <laughs> it is. So you and you didn't know that you were a nerd. At yeah, the time. I didn't know I was a nerd at the time. I was too cool to be a nerd. I like wore leather jackets and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I smoked cigarettes, and I was like, "Yeah, hey, I'm never gonna be like one of those nerd guys playing D and D." And then I was. And sooner or later, his hair unfurled, and he became a nerd. But yeah, but uh, but I met Joey that way, and then like he was just like, "Hey, you want to hang out sometime?" And I was like, "Sure, why not?" And so we hung out, and it was good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then the knee rested. Yeah. Yep. And cards are. I mean, I've already uh, told I, the story of how I met everyone on my Q and A, but well, it's interesting I, hearing it from your side. Well, yeah. I I met Joe when he was uh, trying to put a sign up on the riverbank for his YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I pulled my ship over the Codsworth, and I saved him from certain drowning. And uh, I gave up my captaincy to uh, help him oh, that's right. establish his had, like, YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of surprised you did. Yeah, this yeah. is... I'm quite proud of Frank's, where I came up with the fact that he was killed trying to get in a fight over the last roller grill taquito. Yeah. Which is by far <laughs> the most accurate thing I've ever heard. Yeah, if you don't know, there is actually, is the main site actually up again? Yeah, the site's still up. Yeah, Cardsworth made a hardleggaming.com that's supposed to list all the legs plays we have and stuff. I'm still um, working on that. <laughs> but it has, like, it has uh, profiles for everyone and how we met, but they're all just funny nonsense. Are you yeah. able to put, like, the, the site and the link, or...? Yeah, it's hardleggaming.com. I know, I mean, but sometimes people don't pay attention. Annotations? <laughs> they took those out. We can't yeah. do annotations anymore. Card? <laughs> <laughs> annotations are more fun to say, but fine. Card? There's a little yep. thing here on the screen. Yeah, if, you, if you find it easier, Steve, you could increase the uh, DPI on the mouse by hitting that. Yeah, I know. Okay. I, I messed with it. I know. Yeah, yeah, I, know. The, <laughs> I do this. The, the actual way you and I no, met the, Joe the, is the, you the, started coming it, up for Yu-Gi-Oh! No. Night. In general, I remember, I remember it, it, it's just a lot more well, floaty than I expected. Anymore. Yeah, yeah it was, it's it's tricky. I think that's when I met Brandon too. He was wearing a, like a trench coat. Hey, a that was oh, like yeah, the trench coat time. years. The trench coat it years. Was, like, I used to wear a trench coat all through <laughs> high school. I mean, as a leather jacket, I can at least say, yeah, I was like that guy that wore the leather jacket. But as a trench coat guy, <laughs> the trench coat guy, you have one of three options. <laughs> oh, he's going to flash me. Oh, he's going to kill everyone. Oh, he's so lonely. Oh, he's yeah. an art student. Yeah. <laughs> I just like every like senior year. My 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 grandpa died. He was a big, huge gentleman. Right. And he had expensive taste in coats, and he left me a big old trench coat. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wore that all through high, like senior year of high school, and everyone was super nice to me that year. <laughs> <laughs> the everyone, year was 1999. I used to just sit there and read books alone, and then like once you start doing it in a trench coat, people were like, hey, hey you have friends, know. right? <laughs> I just want you to know that, like, you know, we don't... Columbine was only like five <laughs> years ago. Yeah. Oh. Really? Uh... You didn't get that? Yeah, that's, that's the whole thing. That's okay. the reason. I'll be back. Everyone okay. just paused. Apparently, uh, that was the tipping point. What are your thoughts on Minnesota? Like, what kind of thoughts? Because I'm not allowed to go back there. <laughs> uh, don't go to Fargo. Uh, it's north. Have you been to or, Minnesota, uh, sorry, Steve? Uh, 
I couldn't even There's point no, Minnesota no, on a map. I don't know. I could. It's I've somewhere never been over there. I it's somewhere know. over there. It's I, that. It's that state that's like shaped weird, right? Yeah. They're all shaped weird. That's except the for point. Kansas. Kansas is a beautiful state of flatness. No, Actually, that's Missouri is cool. It's shaped like someone's face if they had a huge butt chin. <laughs> and Florida, it's the nation's wang. <laughs> They prefer the term the sunshine state, but I, we all know what it is. We know where we the sun shines. The nation's wing. Yeah. Um, no, it's, 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 it's cold. Yeah, place. all I know about it is that it's cold, and I think there's mountains there. If you guys want to, if the person who asked that wants to give us tickets to, to go there, I, I mean. I don't have time for that. I don't, I don't really want to go back to Minnesota. Uh, are we I actually mean, you, not you said you're banned. allowed to? I, I'm, I've never, okay, I've been out of Missouri one time. We are, I'm not. Chrome or Firefox? Firefox. 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 Opera. <laughs> Safari. <laughs> <laughs> what was that stupid one that boot their dead leg used just to be, like, different? To be Oprah or something? Yeah, that's the one I said. No, he had another one. It wasn't opera or safari. It was like some. Was it, it was like blue moon or something. Oh, oh yeah, what the it fuck? was like. It was something super hipster. Yeah. <laughs> I. I like use it Internet Explorer. Anyone. I use blue moon just like my drinks. <laughs> yep. uh, what do you do in your free time? Your what mom. that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stoic Steve. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> I was just going to lean in and be like, what free time? You think I have free time? You and your mom. That's funny. Well, how about you, Brandon? You want to name off all the projects this month that you started and then didn't go into? No, I don't spend time on those. I just say I'm going to. <laughs> uh, James? Um, I don't know. Just a lot of random shit. Mostly Overwatch, I, I imagine. I don't know. I like I go out a lot more than I used to. Really? Like I go hang out with people every other su every other Saturday. I go to a bar, which is hilarious because I don't drink anything. I literally just go there because the people I know go there. Huh? <laughs> what do they do there? Just hang uh, out. It's like a karaoke night, so we all just laugh at each other's horrible singing. We should hang out more. <laughs> <laughs> you you sing, James? No, I go there to laugh at the people. Oh, you don't you don't actually try? I don't partake. Okay. <laughs> If I went there, I could sing though, right? Yeah. I wasn't sure if you're. Kind of the point. I wasn't sure if you're great. Your the group that you went with was like we're too cool to sing. No singing. No, that, allowed. that's like the only reason they go. Well, we have we have like there, there's one girl that's with us, and she's like actually really good at singing. Like she has a really good voice. So it's like she'll go up and do her thing early, and then everybody else comes up when they're like half drunk and yep. don't know what they're doing. It's an important part of karaoke. Yeah. We also have one guy that likes to sing Eminem songs, and it's like he 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 can do the speed correctly. He just can't do the tone correctly. Mm. He can do the cases. speed correctly, but he only speaks Spanish. <laughs> he can do the speed correctly. He just emphasizes the wrong words at the wrong time. And, like, for what I can tell, he he will spend, like, the entire week prior trying to, like, perfect whatever song he's trying to do. Like, he, he puts a lot more time into it than I think he needs to. <laughs> Karaoke is my life. Um, I either, yeah, hang out, uh, I have a couple people I hang out with at, like, bars with. I do trivia nights and stuff. Um, I've been working on, I've been DMing a campaign or two for D&D, because, &D, you know, like I said, I'm married now. And, uh, <laughs> now. Welcome to the fold. Thank you. And um, can, can I get out? <laughs> I don't like folds. It's they easy. tend to be sweaty. It's easy to get in. It's impossible to get out of the nearest fold. So it's like there's a lot of Cheetos in there, though. So you can. Like, so it's like Hotel California. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, I was afraid of those. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's the truth. I've been trying to move out, but that's no other. Whatever I'm happened to out. starting an animation company? Yeah, that, uh, the, my partner. Uh, Shocker. Yeah, I don't like to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Brandon? What do you actually do in your free time? In my free time, I don't get a lot of it, but on Sunday nights, I know I do a D&D &D uh, game. He knows he does. I know I do, uh, but uh, other than that, it's primarily been uh, attempting to move out myself and uh, getting uh, as many video games done in the five minutes I get to before uh, work and sleep. That sounds fun. Yeah. yeah. And Steve, did you did you have an actual answer, or you just want to leave it at your mom? <laughs> Boy, do I want to leave it. 
I mean, your mom's a pretty nice place to leave it, if I do say so myself. Giggity. Dan apparently likes to go to the bathroom for long extended <laughs> periods of time in his free time. Um, at least I mean, hope that... He likes, he likes to poop. <laughs> yeah, you, poop. you poop on the man's time, not your own. Yep. The boss... Uh, what was it? The boss makes a quarter when I make a dime. That's why I poop on company time. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I love that song. Um, let's see. I think I already asked them, like, will you release the songs we sing together? And we, I just want to clarify, all, all the acapellas are done by me. These these guys don't yeah. sing on them. Um, so, 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 so what, you're not going to release the, uh... There, what is it? Um, the other opening? No, not... Uh... The pterodactyl song that I did. <laughs> the pterodactyl asleep. song? Yeah. I don't remember the pterodactyl Dude, oh, song. Oh, are they referencing all the weird little songs we sing? Because, like, those would be hard to collect. So. Yeah, yeah, during the FTL. I mean, granted, we can sell that for I, a, a I low know. price of nine ninety five. dollars 95 Turk, Turk, Turk <laughs> I mean, you came up with the comment in the comment song yeah. originally. I just I, turned it into a full I think it was from the same thing. Let's Play. Oh, by the way, yeah. I think Minnesota is fine. Okay. Well, that was two questions ago. I, well, I was in the bathroom. And what do you do in your free time? Apparently, Master go to the bathroom. <laughs> well, at least he's honest. And, and think about Drew. Not oh, at the same right. time. Most of the time. <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> Not at the same time, just most of the time. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And that was the hand. I'm, I'm going to read this. I wrote most of these, I like paraphrase. But this one, I'm going to read it exactly as he wrote it. Oh, okay. Okay. How was you come to the yep. show? <laughs> was it because Joe invited you, or did you invite yourself? Yeah, we just showed up, like, one day, like, all of us in a group. We're just like, we heard you were doing YouTube, and, um, we you're not in. allowed... We want in. You're not allowed to do any more unless one of us is here. Yeah. I offered him a rose in exchange for shelter, and, uh, <laughs> next thing I knew, my teacups were talking. <laughs> Beauty I and the beast. <laughs> Wait, which one is which in that <laughs> <laughs> I was come to show by, uh... <laughs> I was come to show. <laughs> uh, I was always part of this show. It was it was part of the yeah, show. Yeah, I mean, we the Lex Plays started out with the show, so it wasn't like I was, like, a famous Yugi yeah. tuber who then yeah. brought you guys on. I just love that, the, the, like, did you invite yourself? I just love this idea that, like, I'm down in my parents' basement <laughs> recording. In the door. Steve just walks on down, and oh, I can't get him to leave. Hey, what's your plan? <laughs> what you what doing down oh, here? Oh, that? You're playing worms? Well, I, what you doing, strange? I happen to not play it, it, How was that phrase again? <laughs> <laughs> okay. How was you come to the show? Was oh, because gosh. Joe invited you, or did you invite yourself? I think he went I invited the show. He, <laughs> he invited the show. Yeah, Steve, blame Steve for the show. He, he came up with the idea, and he gave me the computer. Um, I, I just do the comedy part. I guess... I became to the show or whatever it is, because uh, uh, Joey was like, "Hey, I'm playing video games with people. You want to hang out more? You gotta play video games with me." And I was like, "All right, I'm up for anything." Okay. And uh, what was your initial reaction when you hear the legs play idea? I think that's from the same guy. Okay. Mm. Well, I was I like, "That eh, sounds fun." Yeah. It was, it's not I like, like a, I, I think that's like a unanimous thing. We're just like, yeah, ah, like why that's not? Fun, but let's not, because you were already like, hey, you know, let's come over and play some video games and do Yu-Gi-Oh, and then if we're famous, we'll get money, and you know, we can just live in a house together and not have to work. Yep. Like, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We we haven't even recorded anything yet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mine was just like, oh, if I can help, I'm good for it. You're so. like, oh, somebody wants to spend time with me? Yes, <laughs> actually. I sat in my room talking to myself, saying that. Oh yeah, Cardsworth Chrome or Firefox. Um, I like both equally, huh. but I use Firefox more than I do Chrome. Yeah, I have Chrome on my phone, but that's because it's like an Android phone and it just came with it. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're both about the same in my book, but all my years of school were always on Firefox, so that's why I use it. Okay, and then we've got a series of favorites. All Drew, right. favorite food? This is true. Bacon <laughs> and pizza. Send me bacon and pizza. Bacon jerky, please. Bacon jerky? I would like you. Send bacon. Yeah, bacon. <laughs> Walgreens has the best bacon jerky. It's so weird. Is it bacon or is it jerky? Like it's it's Jerky bacon made from bacon. Really? Yeah. You just okay. dry it out. Yeah, it, it, it's weird. Like, isn't I've, bacon dried out meat anyway? Essentially. Essentially, but now it's like preservative. I, yeah. thought, isn't, yeah. I thought bacon was like stomach. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's some, 
It's Damn some it's pig ass. I don't care. It's good. Yeah, bacon. And that's why bacon I don't and like pizza. It. James, you favorite Jewish. food. Um, <laughs> I, I guess I'd probably say pizza too. Pizza or chicken? What kind of chicken? There's like fifty thousand different ways. To no, just chicken. just chicken in general. Any chicken. Just chicken. That kill, takes my idea. Kill the bird it. and give we it to me. Know that. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All you Possibly eat fried. Is spicy chicken. I want a handful of beaks. <laughs> <laughs> They're crunchy. Claw. How about you, Brandon? You said chicken. Of my enemies. The souls of your enemies. They never taste. Enemies. The souls of my. Yeah. <laughs> That's the point. The soulless minions of orthodoxy. <laughs> my, my enemies. What enemies? That's the point. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, anybody who knows me is pretty much chicken. Is the my, is is the thing for me. And your dad's ugly, terrible teriyaki rice that uh, no. tried to make you. Oh, no, that was not something I enjoyed eating. I ate out of necessity. <laughs> I love you, Dad, if you ever are listening to this. He won't. He's won't. It's like two hours in anyway. I know. <laughs> Cardsworth favorite food. Um, I don't know. I mean, to get a physique like this, you've got to have <laughs> quite an eclectic array of food. You don't really have to. You could just eat. That's like, true. I could just eat a million pizzas, and I often do. I was gonna say you could eat like twenty <laughs> boxes of Malamars and a diet of Malamar. You'd and find diet out God. by then, wouldn't you? <laughs> After twenty boxes, what the hell is a, mon- a Malamar? <laughs> You've been eating them. They name a Pokemon after a food. Shit, what is this? I'm just good, but I don't even know our gear. What I'm Malamar, what, what I summon it? you. What is Malamar. This? What is this food? <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> Shovels in <laughs> 20 boxes worth. It's all they got. <laughs> okay, how about you, Drew? Uh, mine is actually crabs. I crab. love crabs, like crab legs and stuff. Everything about it. Cracking open bones, <laughs> eating out like the inner meats. It's all great. So Drew wants to be a cannibal at one point. <laughs> only if Start he's a with crab. This one. Yeah, only if you're a crab. Well, if he keeps eating the crab, he'll become a crab, and then he can eat crab like w- mm. with his, with his crab arms. So he'll be crab-able. crabable. Yeah. How about you, Steve? Or crab lobster. Ah, lobster mm. and crabs. Ah. Well, with that, we're all you rich, you know, people with your food. I'm just stuck here eating three dollar frozen pizzas. I never said I ate it often. I just said it was my favorite. <laughs> it's his favorite because he doesn't eat it often. If he yeah. ate crab every day, he'd probably get sick of it. He'd be crabby. I like the the, yeah. the, the difference here. Was just like lobster, crab, chicken, pizza, chicken. and bacon. And six people said pizza. And what? It, and uh, Cardsworth, he never actually said it. I, would be most, said I guess pizza. pizza. Mm. Okay. Favorite video game. Custer's Revenge. Wow! <laughs> <God> damn it! <laughs> Papers, please. Uh, Overwatch. Um, at the really? moment, Overwatch is pretty good. No. I, I I'm mean, getting like, over it with Bennett. It, <laughs> it used to be Halo. Wow! Yeah. But since I've migrated from uh, 360 to PC, now it's you know uh, yeah. it's Overwatch. I used to love Team Fortress back on the uh, Xbox. Ah, yes. The, uh, that. B- before they added all the hats and stuff. Before Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> Pre-watch. Pre-watch. Mm, team Every Watch. Night. No. Brandon? Um, Prelude Watch. Uh, I-, I like to say it's Journey on the PS... Uh, well, it's on I the Sony. love Journey. It's a great group from the 70s. Yeah. Uh, Don't stop. I, was gonna say, I think everyone's favorite thing is that song. I don't know if everyone loves Journey. Uh, no, I, it's, uh, it's just a really simple game. Uh, and really love it. It's uh, done by uh, that, game, that game it. company. That's literally the game company it's called. Yeah, they can look into it. They can look into it if they want. Drew, favorite game? Favorite game? Uh, let's see. I'd say either uh, Mass Effect, uh, the first one, or uh, Dark Souls 2. Steve? Red Alert 2. Ah, mm. a good one. I remember Just that. Just because that's probably the most time I spend on any game ever. Even more than uh, Warframe? Yes, more than Warframe. Wow. We've probably spent more hours on that than anything. Huh. No, don't As you a spend kid. all your time on, like, Junk League or whatever it is? Uh, yeah, and nowadays I'm playing Junk League, but that's, you know, whatever. Because every time I'm on Steam, it's just to have and it's just all, something like, to play. Junk Always Junk League. Okay, favorite board game? I'm going to say Catan. I've been skipped. Risk. Yeah, oh, you didn't get to do your video game? Nope. Oh, then do your video game Dark real quick. Souls. It's actually not Dark Souls. It's actually uh, Spec Ops: The Line. Huh. Yeah. So you did finally play that? 
I, what do you mean, Easter finally? Egg. The whole reason I had brought it up to you is because I fucking love that game. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I brought it up to you. No, I yeah. brought it up. I, you were like, well, what, what about something else to do? And I was like, well, by this game. And then you were like, it's on Steam. And I was like, the fuck? You didn't, you didn't, I didn't know it was on the Steam. the week and a half where he first played that, and every text I got from him was like, dude, Spec Ops the line. I'm like, okay, that's really not... I was uh, like, dude, you have to play this game. And he's like, okay. And I was like, no, you don't understand. You have to play this game. And then I just started texting him the phrase white phosphorus. <laughs> <laughs> white phosphorus every day. If you've played it, you know what I mean. Okay. Favorite <laughs> board game then, James? Uh, favorite board game. Or board, I don't... James. Ah, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll get the last one. Do, do, do I... Uh, like deck game. deck building games count? Sure. Because in that case, I'd probably say uh, like Ascension. Never that that game was just a lot of fun. It, it's like a it's basically like a deck building thing. What are you doing? <laughs> he's like he's, he's, he's like slowly it. touching me with a fidget spinner that's just like spinning at super speed. I feel speeds. like that should be. Felt a, like something a, was a crawling on me. In several states. <laughs> How about you, Brandon? Uh, Favorite board, board game. game. That or a board game. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody make that a board game, please. Uh, my favorite board game, the slow touch of. My favorite board game is Candyland. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, that's actually. Is it chutes and ladders? <laughs> no. Uh, actually, it's a real old game. Uh, back chutes in the and day. Mystery date. No. If anybody remembers Mousetrap. Yeah, it's oh, the same action, yeah, the crazy contraption, yeah, the is catching. I love that as a kid. I, I don't prefer know why. Don't Wake Daddy. Did you like Rube yeah. Goldberg machines as a concept, and all it was was a big fucking Rube Goldberg machine? And it's I love it. Did it's you actually word. play it, or did you just set up the Rube Goldberg machine and let it go? I just set it up. Oh, and yeah. let it go. <laughs> I don't know anyone who actually played it. Anyway, you cannot get up that narrow corridor. It is difficult. Yeah, and you're gonna do it on your first try because you've had so much practice. It's probably my fifth try. We'll see. That's like five times more practice than I've had. Yeah. And I'm surprised I, as far as I Bootleg made it up. He just went off the left side <laughs> when he did. <laughs> Don't I didn't me. mean to. I didn't okay. mean it. Favorite board game? Um. Parcheesi? <laughs> I, I like chess. I like chess life. is pretty good. Uh, favorite board game. Tabletop games don't count, right? Uh, they, yeah, they do. If you oh, want to okay. put Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, or Dungeons and Dragons is probably my favorite. Besides, uh, Betrayal on the House of the Hill. And that's only fun because uh, it's, it's a great drinking game. <laughs> I, I just uh, I'm changing my answer because I just nope. remembered. I, I'm already locked in. I've played a lot of them. <laughs> hey, you said final answer. No, I didn't. Uh, it's a uh, a hex a hex based game called Eclipse. Oh yeah, I played that. That is like legitimately one of my favorite games, and no one likes to play it because it takes like three hours. <laughs> it does. It's but like it's Risk. A it's like Risk. Risk is my other favorite game because Risk is just so much fun to play. Yeah, Risk is pretty. This fun. is Risk where you get to make the board, so it's oh, nice. really cool. Yeah. How about you, Steve? Any favorite board games? Uh, I think I said Risk earlier. Oh, ah. Okay. I was Risk is fun. Uh, Wait, what was the game you were playing? Eclipse. Eclipse. Okay. Check it out. If, if you get a copy, I will play you. Alright. Okay, let's see. We can videotape it. Shoots and ladders channel. is fine until you get that ladder on the top row and it takes you all the way back to the bottom row. <laughs> and then really? you, that's where the flipping table <laughs> comes from. And this is going to be a bit of a shocker here. I've never played Shoots and Ladders. Well, we can fix that. It's not that hard. We'll yeah. get, I, hey, I've got a vertical mounted camera for my scratching. We can put a game board under that. We'll play Shoots yeah. and Ladders. And ladders. <laughs> if we get that Eclipse game, we'll let me show you how. Okay, favorite movie. Does porn count? Yes. Do I have to pick a specific one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or can you just say porn in general? Free summer. No. All porn. <laughs> Even clown porn? Bread. Especially All clown porn. <laughs> <laughs> Where does the red nose go? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Um, I like Anal Clown Rodeo 7. <laughs> that was, that was, I think the director really came to his peak. <laughs> that, that, that the, the, and so did the clown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the twist at the end with the mimes was great. <laughs> <laughs> the framing and everything. No, um. no, I'd, I'd have to say uh, Ink is still my favorite movie. Citizen Kane's so up there, though. Uh, I really like... Uh, oh, what, what was that one... I showed it to Steve one time, and he wasn't impressed by that either. <laughs> he's not impressed by much, is he? No. That's why he's called Stoic Steve. 
Oh yeah, I had the one question for Steve, and I forgot to ask him. Um, Am I a robot? No, it's do you ever refrain from being vocal in order to try to stay true to your name? Like, do you want to say stuff, but you're like, but I'm Stoic Steve. No. My, my name doesn't really have anything to do with it. It's actually Stoic Machine. We never call him Stoic Machine. It's Stoic Steve. Ah. Yeah. Well, what's your favorite I'm movie, then? I'm not a talkative guy. <laughs> my favorite movie. Yes. I do not know. Do you have, like, a top three? Uh, a movie that you like? Something that you'd like to recommend to people who maybe wouldn't know stuff. Uh, like have you guys seen Hot Fuzz? <laughs> yep. Yes. Yeah, that a was one. a good one. Oh. Watch that. That or Deadpool. Yeah, Deadpool's fantastic. I thought you were going to uh, do something Generally, weird. like, the kind of movie that doesn't, like, stop. Like, it, it's, like, constantly throwing stuff at you. Spoofs and such. And yet, like, it, it's all uh, intertwined mm -hmm. into, like, some larger joke. Uh, like Nick, have you ever seen Naked Gun or oh yeah, like well, any of those ones? What about Naked Lunch? No. <laughs> How dare you speak that movie? Is, is that a porno? No, <laughs> it <laughs> might as well be. The title is very misleading. <laughs> How about you, James? Um, if I had to, I don't know. Oh, The Fall. That's what it's called. Oh yeah, that one. Oh, yeah. I want to see that. That's a good one. The Fall. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Fall's great. What is that? It's gorgeous. It, uh, it's hard to describe. Hard, yeah. It's better to show later. I'd say like, so, uh... Also, Steve, it's been your 30 minutes. Uh, it has. I, 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 wanna... I was just starting to make progress over that thing. Oh. But, oh well. We'll switch yeah, off. It took me 40 minutes. This is the final one. Someone else can take over the, the questions. Th Actually, we gotta switch uh, out the chairs, because nobody wants to sit in that thing. Uh, Steve can get the wooden chair. I'm, I'm in the wooden chair. chair. Oh. Right. Yeah, Brandon. Get out of the way. Right. We're moving. I'll try and sit in your janky Drew, chair. what's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Uh, Why is it so sweet? Uh, probably Anchorman. <laughs> the Legend of Ron Burgundy? The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Yeah, that's, says, yeah, that's another good one. Yeah, that, I'd recommend. That probably says a lot about who I am as a person. Well, Final one. I was like, what's the start there? Um, did anyone not do their favorite movie already? Uh, yeah. I've already done my favorite movie on another leg play, so... Uh, but uh, Groundhog's Day. Oh, oh that's yeah, another yeah. Good one. That's one yeah. that I literally every time someone says favorite movie, I'm like, mine is. And uh, yeah. All right, so what's the next one? I don't know. Where is you, where were you on this? Uh, near the bottom. That's helpful. <laughs> that's helpful. There's a lot near the bottom. There's okay. one where I, it just says like favorite, and then it's got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, we did food, that's video fun. game, reading good books lately. <laughs> Does uh, porn count? Again. Uh, I'm you, surprised wait, you didn't whoa, whoa, say that on. for food. You read, <laughs> you read erotica like some lonely 30-year-old woman? No, I turn the subtitles on on the YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> excuse, YouTube me, excuse me, you porn. Yeah, I was going to be like, we've already established it doesn't do... But don't the subtitles just say it, parentheses moaning? Probably. <laughs> I would pay attention to them. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> okay. I'm I'm gonna guess there's no books. No, I got a book to read. He's probably read something like uh, Anne Ryan or something. I that was a, a couple of years ago. Well, she has more than one book. <laughs> yeah, but they're all pretty much the same. It's the I, same story. Just and I read the longest one, so there's <laughs> nothing else to add. Um, oh, this this one's controversial as fuck. Um, milk first or cereal first? <laughs> cereal. Though. Cereal. Yeah, cereal. Cereal. Clearly. The box what first. Kind of what are you even? doing? No, you take the box and you just pour the milk into the box. Mm -hmm. well, no, or if it's you, you find a solo cup and you dump it in a... Yeah. Red solo cup. Oh, no, uh, I actually did have a book I was reading. I'm the only one here who's reading a book, apparently. So I know how to read. <laughs> but apparently you didn't have a book to talk what about. What if you're illiterate? The, 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 the last book I read yeah, was The Quran, and that just <laughs> turned me off. <laughs> reading thing. Can you count, yeah. can you count it as a book if it's a scroll? Wow. Now, uh, for me, I'm reading uh, David Lynch, not David Lynch, uh, Scott Lynch, a uh, series of uh, the Loch Lamore books. Of uh, the Lies of Loch Lamore. Right now, I'm on the. Oh, I thought you said Macklemore, and I'm like, I love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> the Lives of Macklemore. <laughs> it's just th three chapters guy. about thrift shop. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's a uh, it's a fantasy story about a con man. It's really good. Uh, and I'm, yeah, I'm off my book. game. 
I should have been at the top by now. Yeah, Joe. Some some let's player I turned out to be. All right. Uh, so what's after? Uh, uh, there's a, there's a lot of like. Do you like jazz? <laughs> I do no. like jazz. Yeah, yeah, really. I'm not super jazzed about it. Some smooth <sighs> ass jazz, sure. I can take it or leave it. Yeah, yeah I enjoy it. smooth jazz mostly if I'm just doing busy work or like just like doing something like it's in the background. It just makes it so much better. I, I like the concept of jazz, jazz, but I don't sit down and listen to it. Yeah. Okay, well, so he he's got this written down shorthand, but I'm just gonna say it in the way that I'm sure they meant it. Um, are you a console scrub or a PC master race? <laughs> console scrub. There you go. PC Master Race. PC. PC Master Race. I'd like to go outside. Oh, no. Did you, did you get out of here. Oh, you're, you're, below, like... you're below the plebs. But, but the outer net is scary. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's so much malware. <laughs> there's viruses everywhere. The trolls. Less than <laughs> trolls here. Um, describe Joe in one sentence. Fat. Fat is a sentence. Watch hard leg gaming. That's... Is mayonnaise a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> that is a question, and therefore a sentence. Actually, my uh, my best uh, my way to describe him is a dialogue that I got from him. Uh, you've I'm really impressed that you used that word, Brandon. Here's my donut. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Actual interaction. <laughs> Joe 20, uh, oh, 26. 15. Okay, um... Numbers aren't your strong suit, are they? 2006, man? sorry. It says name, right? Um, What's everybody's name? Oh, yeah, yeah how'd you how pick did, you na your name? How did you pick your name? I thought mine sounded cool, comparatively to all the other legs. You didn't want to be a leg. <laughs> Let's start yeah. with Krusty Bongo's Brandon over yeah. here. Krusty <laughs> Bongo's Brandon. Hey, you, you tap them enough, they start cracking... <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> I see you're not a bonga. I... <laughs> uh, Clearly, you don't know how they get crusty. Uh, let's see. Crusty Joe Crab wouldn't let pizza. me be a leg. What? I let you be a leg. No, I you didn't want to be, be a leg. No, you wouldn't let me. Because you were like, pick a name, but we've got enough legs. Don't be a leg. You actually said that. You said, don't be a leg. We've got enough legs. If you could be a leg, what leg would you be now? I was going to be Peg Leg and talk like a pirate. <laughs> so that's why I didn't want you to be a leg. <laughs> no, I didn't get that far. You were just like, here, don't use your standard YouTube name. Use a new name. And then it's like, all right, can I be a leg? And I'm like, no, we've got like three legs now. We don't need another one. And I'm still some, somewhat surprised that Bootleg didn't go for Crazy Leg. No, Bootleg's better because it appeals to the shader aspect of stuff I do. Yeah. <laughs> had you not, had, uh, since that, I probably would have gone for Crazy Leg, but, uh, Stoic? Accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Accuracy. Just accurate. Accurate, efficient. Aimless other, because. <laughs> other robotic terms. <laughs> uh, random number generator pro produced this. Oh. I can't even remember where I got my name. Like, it was a, it was like an Xbox live profile name for the longest time and I just sort of stuck with it. Yeah, that kinda... Like, it's, it, it literally has just been, it, it started with Jay Aimless, and then that seemed like too long, so then on the show, he just, Joe just said Aimless James, and I was like, ah, let's just do that. Even though it's longer. And then you changed it on Battle.net, and it confused the hell out of me. I had to literally go through my yes. list and figure out who the hell that was. <laughs> who is it on, on, on Battle.net, I, I renamed myself Netflix, but Flix is spelled like flicking, like F-L-I-C-K. Because <laughs> we wanted to be it, cool, like all no, the other it, kids. It was literally because somebody on the other team was like, I did not sign up for this Netflicking and no chill. Nah. And I was like, I'm stealing that name, just so you know. <laughs> you can do it, Joe. Joe, how did you pick your name? We've already had uh, this yeah, story. We've had this I've story said quite that a few many times. times. Yeah. It's Dunkin' Donuts. You didn't guy work at Dunkin' Donuts. You don't know. <laughs> I've heard it. I didn't know if the audience knew it. Yeah, if I, they were well, fans, wait. they'd know. Yeah. <laughs> I did my own Q&A. How did Dead Lake pick his name? Because it's Sound of the Most Hipster, probably. It's and why isn't he here? Uh, uh, he is work. work. Mm. Until 11. He, he has a... to do this thing called work. I don't remember how that happened. He's a janitor. Really? Deerberg's demoted him to janitor? No, he works for a school now. Oh. He got yeah, a promotion. He's, he's, he's learning to be a janitor? Yeah. Fall off, Joe. Hey! hey. Uh, hey. Joe wins. Joe we made it to the top. Oh, no. Joe's played this before. 
hours. So <laughs> for several hours, and it still took me ten minutes to get up here. <laughs> Almost. Ten minutes. Oh no! How dare! All right, what's the next one, Jim? Um, what's a question? Wait, what? Yes. What? A question. Uh, let me look at that. One. <laughs> Why do you have that one written down? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's can, what's a question? What's a question you would want to ask another Lex player? Basically? Oh, there's a dash there, so I thought it was just like, what's a question? It's not a dash, I'm just bad at it. <laughs> That's the question I'm going to ask. What's a... No. Um... Oh! No. No. Joe, okay. why did you have us play this fucking game? <laughs> That's the question. It's Is popular. It because it's toxic? Okay, I'll take that. I thought people would get more angry. This isn't uh, Fort Parker. Okay, so this, this is like, the, like this is the same scenario all. as like when uh, when we were playing Dark Souls and you're doing the bed of chaos. You're like, well, I know it's good. It's supposed to be frustrating and stupid, so it's not anymore. Yeah, <laughs> kind of takes the sting out of it. I don't know, Drew. You seem like you were getting a little frustrated there. That's because he was getting so good. He was yeah. getting heated. And then <laughs> he was getting steamed. He was like a steamed vegetable, only smarter. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. And more motivated. <laughs> So, any questions? Because I got nothing. I don't know, we're pretty candid with each other. Yeah. As as, like, you know, What's like, with the hat, Joe? That's no. I don't know. People don't know I wear a hat, Brandon. Now they're going to find me. <laughs> <laughs> You're a black cowboy with oh, white hair wearing a hat in your picture. Oh, wait, yeah. I have another one. And white hands. Hey, hey, Cardsworth, um, what does Hidden Power do? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you well, didn't want to bring that up. It's an that changes type every time you use it. Uh, I just wanted to make sure you're still dumb. It's good. <laughs> I've seen it happen. All right, all right. Well, I remember that. I forgot okay, we can be two candid at points. Go, let's go to the next question. No, I want to defend my hidden power. You have no hidden happen. power. You're a human being, well, dude. I was on a rock. <laughs> Did you see it happen? No. I saw it when battling unknowns in the Sebi Islands with my Onyx. Is like one of their hidden powers was uh. super effective. The next one that hit me from that same unknown in the same battle was not very effective. Did you switch to Pokemon? No. <laughs> Therefore, it changes type each time they used it. No. I don't give a damn what Bulbapedia says or what Sarah. <laughs> I don't give a shit about what the pros use and it I, for. I don't give a damn about <laughs> what that duel between Drew and I said. I still own the rights to Shaq Soda. Shaq Soda takes the Shaq, by the way. Frank, <laughs> Frank even admitted he wasn't trying and was giving Drew the advantage so he would win it back. That night, hard leg gaming broke over the broke up for the dumbest shit ever. Uh. Um. I find ones that we haven't done yet. No. I think we've done pretty much everything. There was more on the back, wasn't there? Or was that no, no, that's that's like specific single. persons. There was there was stuff specifically to me. I think oh yeah, there was a couple of find... Yu-Gi-Oh based ones I messed up. Right, I did skipped. you have them separated, or are they like in the group? Yeah, they're 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 Don't separated. Don't fall off, Joe. Damn it, Steve! <laughs> <laughs> you okay. knew that I would. <laughs> okay, uh, Joe, specific questions. Oh boy, everyone was waiting for these ones, right? Tinder or they've, Match.com? They've skipped ahead. An you hour had your chance to ask me any uh, question. Tinder or Grinder? <laughs> I have both. I don't know the difference. Um, one for anonymous gay sex. I don't even know her. Sex. Oh. What's guess. the weirdest, the most... Wait, what? <laughs> I can't even read your writing. You're welcome. What's <laughs> weirdest, most rage inducing? What the... Rage inducing. Oh, rage inducing game you've played. Ugh. Weirdest, most rage-inducing game you've played. This one this is, over this is pretty with, close. Uh, <laughs> or uh, this guy's name is. I, I think the weirdest game I've played is either Super Hipster Lumberjack, like I said. There's another one I played. And no, I forget what it was called. It was some dumb game where you're like, you, you have to like get boxes from space and like travel through. It was dumb. <laughs> I, I, that's the thing is I don't even remember. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. Hammer. Okay. Okay. It's not a hammer, it's a pick. Gotcha. Um, I, I Again, I don't really get rage-induced all that much on, on games, for the most part. They're games. Yep. I think I made it farther than most people. <laughs> no. Really? I'm happy. I'm happy. What is, uh, <laughs> what is one IRL skill you'd like to learn? Uh, speak German. Speak German. Uh, Easy. Dunkoff. That's all I know. That's Russian. <laughs> I, know, I, mean, I know. That's how little German I know. Pretty bien. No, that's, that's also Russian. Das das. I'd also like to be able to play the piano. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I too am envious of piano players. <laughs> Get the no no. Loneliness and not getting paid for anything. Yes. Uh, Billy Joel would like to speak with you. <laughs> <laughs> he got paid for things. Elton John would like to speak with you. And on the uh, counterpoint, Sir Elton John. And on the counterpoint, uh, dead, uh, dead, uh, dead, uh, Fish Criminal would like to speak to all of you. That is I my really, main example. I yeah. don't really care what Fish Criminal wants to do. All he wants to do is play Risk of Rain and be an asshole. Shots fired. Shots, Shots fired. fired. Play the piano. Um. Yeah. <laughs> What's Why your did you like... have him compose music for the channel, Joe? I tried. Did you? Yeah. He did not wish to. He, he, yeah, he, wanted, he wanted things to be too complex. Yeah. He's really into Chopin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, what is your favorite right? car? I don't fucking like cars. <laughs> did I write that one down? <laughs> it looks like car. Is that car? That looks yeah. like car. I thought it would be hard. Maybe, maybe, maybe that maybe was, was why I did car. it, because I wanted to specifically tell people that like I don't know fucking cars from cars. I can't tell a Ford he likes from a the, Hyundai. He likes the one that goes vroom and gets him where he's trying to go. Yeah. The one that doesn't break down on him. I, I always wanted That's a... That's none of them. That's none of them. Yeah. I wish. Mobile. I guess a Tesla would be cool. Donate to the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I always Only wanted 300,000 more to go. I always wanted a segue. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of which, <laughs> segue into the next question. They're, they're electric and they like I don't really go anywhere except for around town. What kind of skill so would you would like be... in, in, in real life? The, the ability to be on a segue right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a skill. That's not a skill. That's an applicable skill. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Screaming gives him power. <laughs> like, like a, a baby, baby bird being chewed. What? <laughs> Joe, I missed it. Do it again. <laughs> Retake. Uh, anyway, what's the next I question? I can't control <laughs> myself. Um, how do you feel about the direction of Legend of Lefty? Uh, I, I, like, I like the way it's going. I think I'm writing it good. I just need to get people to watch it. Is it going left? Ha have, have any of you... Have any of you... No, you haven't. No. Yeah. <laughs> I listened to like the first five episodes. Oh, you did? In the background while I was doing something else, so I didn't pay attention. Probably well, watching porn. Right. <laughs> no, you didn't I have the no. subtitles on on your stuff, no, but I our kids. No, I actually turn everything else off when I'm watching porn. Including <laughs> so the porn. That, so that I can focus on, uh, you know, the, the porn. porn. <laughs> Cause, no! Because, you know, backdoor twinks, Asians in love doesn't, you know... <laughs> Asians in love, I love that. Is, is that how they express their love? I, I, I assume. I assume that's only in theory. I haven't actually. That's why I'm watching the documentary. <laughs> yeah, I have to learn. Never met one in the wild. Is he? Does he? Do you have like the car stuff or like the tailpipes or whatever? Is that is that the thing? I don't know. I heard a joke about tailpipes, and apparently that's a joke now. I have no idea. Tailpipes? It's like a car porn or something like uh, that. I I, I don't like know. Buckler exhaust pipes? <laughs> oh, I yeah. guess. No, okay. Make sure you turn the car off. <laughs> Otherwise, that's gonna get real hot real fast. Uh, you guys see Is that, that the point? Uh, that gif of the guy who uh, tied a uh, flashlight to his muffler. I yes, did. I did I see have. that, and it's hilarious. It's, uh, it is impressive how much those things stretch. <laughs> what? Just you're too. I don't want just, to watch just... it. Brandon, you know what a flashlight is? Uh, I was left for me at one point. Yes. Okay. Get out of here, orange. <laughs> no Get one likes you. <laughs> um. Will you play the Call of Cthulhu game? The new one, yeah. The new one? Um, if Brandon will join me. I will join you, but I'm going to be doing it with a blindfold and uh, earmuffs if I can. Because that Why? looks actually scary, as yeah. opposed to the last one, which was just unnerving. You mean it wasn't, go over here! Girl! Look over here! Ah! No, no! And oh, we go! Shots. Oh, no. What and you flick headshotting everybody. Right <laughs> Such adversity. Much climb, very wow. slide. You're the best <laughs> around. Nothing's ever gonna keep you down. Um, trying to see if there's any of these uh, that we skipped. All the Yu-Gi-Oh ones, apparently. Let's see. Mermails or Atlanteans? Uh, Do you like Top Gear? The game or the show? The, the show. show. I'm guessing Obviously. the show. And then it's like, if so, who is your favorite person on Top Gear? Oh. Well, which one? The proper Hammond. British Top Gear or the, the American proper. Top Gear? The American one didn't happen. We don't talk about it. Okay, I was about to say. Uh, the, uh, I like Top Gear, but I like, uh, what's, uh, I can't, I can't remember. He's the, uh... Um, British McSmarmy Pants. Uh, no, no, the the one that's pretty much, uh, he, uh he's got the short hair. He's the shortest. The twink one? 
No, but I wouldn't. <laughs> Why do you look back at me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the person who said Asian twinks in love. Look, just because I'm into twinks doesn't mean the word twink pops a boner. <laughs> got Most a, of the time. Most sure? of the time. <laughs> not visibly, at least. Uh, no. Uh, I think He's a grower, Hammond. not a shower. I think that's Hammond, right? I think it is Hammond. Yeah, that's my favorite one, just because he's the only one who... Who doesn't get near as mad as the other two. And when he does, it's kind of crazy mad. I like James, just because he has, like... He, I like his other... I like his other show... Asshole. Well, he has, like, another show, too, where he does, like, uh... He does, like, toys, and it's just hilarious, some of the stuff they do. Like, they built an actual real house out of Legos. Like, an actual livable house out of Legos. That's amazing. You but, can't walk barefoot in it. No, you could, because they use like the they they use the uh, they use the flat pieces on some of the areas. So like the okay. bathroom had like flat no, tiles, no. <laughs> but it was it was hilarious. He tried. They actually had plumbing, but they forgot to <laughs> they forgot to seal it. So when he tried to flush, he tried to flush the toilet, and the thing had like filled up, and then it just started draining all over the place. Oh, oh that's <laughs> he tried nasty. to use the sink, and it just flooded the bathroom. <laughs> it was great. They had like one where he had. Uh, they set up like micro machines, like the ones that you have, like the the like little race cars that you can actually like hold the gun and it'll drive them. Mm -hmm. And they had it set up throughout like, like a whole town. Oh, nice! So the things were just like they raced them around an entire town. It was great. A micro machine Grand Prix. Yeah, basically. Anybody else here watch uh, Top Gear? Have any stories? <laughs> uh, Stig for life. Uh, the Stig is. The oh no, yeah, the Stig's the best character. Until he did the face reveal, and then all the magic died. Yeah. It's okay, I'll just believe that he's not... Actually, no, the best, char the best character on there was Rowan Atkins, because he had the second best for long step. The, the first best, and then the second best for long step. Um, let's see. What is the meaning of life? Um... 42? Yeah. Meaning is a human construct, and there is no meaning. Inherently. There you go. That's a good answer. Well, my life is like three different movies, so, uh, would you like the, uh, the, uh, Ryan Reynolds movie? Oh the... my god, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging by a thread, or a stair. Yeah, a pike. An art deco uh, looking stair. Ah! <laughs> no! Back to the hot tub. Back to the hot tub. What, what are we at? We're only at 20 minutes and he's already this far. You're welcome. Like the rest of us I'm experienced. I'm not good. I haven't even made it halfway. I've barely made it past the orange. I think we've run out of questions. Alright, cool. Good wrap, the, are, right, so, uh, are there any questions that we have for each other? Any questions you have for the, the, the commenters to answer? Ah. Why are you, you still watching right those. now? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Who's actually watched all, like, eight hours of this so far? Kale. <laughs> Kale and that's... I mean, we could end it right now if you want. I don't know. Whatever happened to Shit know. McButts? Yeah, whatever happened to Million him. Million Littlely. Million Littlely? He still hangs around. He gave oh. us a game to play. Oh, yeah. Drew. Ooh. A question that someone asked in the Patreon that Joe obviously didn't write down. What did you do to a Drewmanian? What did I do with him? Yeah. Someone's like, you're bootleg Drew, so you must have done something with Drewmanian. Who's the original Drew? And, and you're just a bootleg. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Did you, uh, you murder him with your, uh, bootleg whatever powers. the fuck your murder weapon was? Yeah, I dropped the piano on him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. An anvil first. Yeah, anvil first, then piano, then a safe. Shouldn't it go, like, anvil, safe, grandfather clock, then piano? Like, shouldn't there be something in there between safe and piano? You know yeah, how you're expensive right. grandfather clocks are? You know are? how expensive pianos are? <laughs> Just a two and a piano would cost an entire exactly head salary. This is exactly why I chose this as my murder weapon. Because <laughs> when you start to think of the logistics of it, everyone starts freaking the fuck out. I just like the idea of being a personal assassin that does only that. Like, why do you live in a shack? Because this is what I do. Yeah. No, it's like, it's like, how big is this office? Uh, it's about this wide, this wide. Nah, I can't do it. Can't fit a piano in there over his head long enough to kill him. <laughs> Like, don't you have another thing? No, this nah, is the only way. Nah, you got some rope and a piano. I need a guy kill. I see, can kill him. See, that's why they call him the Looney Tune. <laughs> the Looney Tune. <laughs> how, how come you're eight times more expensive than the other assassins? Mine is art, all right? <laughs> I'm making a statement about modern society. Modern consumer, consumerism? Consumerism. Consumerism. And the communists. <laughs> the communists. 
capitalists. <laughs> um, <laughs> was, there's was a John Tron video. I think it was him and like Sargon of Akkad talking about stuff, and they're like, "It's That's fucking communists." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Oh, watch out for those communists." I can see why he, why he's why he's got his political ideals when he's worried about the communists coming. Hmm? Yep. Okay, and failure. Joe Drew took my fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. Here, There's just one. use this one. Okay. The yeah. one that Joe dropped in the parking lot five minutes after he bought it. It's okay, it's metal. <laughs> it's a, it's I guess I don't have enough to go around. I need to... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm looking for other questions that are on the video. Trying to, like Some of these are just really grabbing. Yeah, most of the ones that I ignored are the... Uh... The bad ones. Oh, like... no, this one is very important. What is the difference between ketchup and ketchup? <laughs> what? None. I won't eat <laughs> either. You don't like ketchup? I don't. No, what about I ketchup? Love ketchup. <laughs> we can't be friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Joe, know you who don't you like are. like ketchup either. It's a vegetable product. Exactly. Actually, no, it's a fruit product, isn't it? Te okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> And, Drew doesn't, or, and Joe didn't like anything remotely resembling fruit or vegetable. Except for french fries. <clears throat> is a potato a vegetable? Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Or is it just like, you know, nature's styrofoam? <laughs> I like, I, I remember seeing this thing, because I watch a lot of history stuff, and they were specifically <laughs> talking about, like, the impact that potatoes had on, on Europe. Because I believe potatoes are a New World thing. And they're like, they were so easy to cook that, like, they revolutionized what the poor people could make and afford. And, uh, there's, like, all these articles where the British, like, are sending potatoes over to, uh, Ireland. And they called it idiot bread. Because <laughs> they're like, it, it's basically, you get the same white stuff that'll fill you up. It's just instead of having to work for it, you just plant it in the ground and come back in a few days and you got potatoes. Any idiot can make it. <laughs> I just love that. I, I wish it stayed that. I want to go to, like... I want to go to McDonald's and be like, yeah, can I get some fried idiot bread over here? <laughs> Let me get a manager. Carsworth, can I have you? <laughs> Is one Cody, of the questions. Cody, we've been over the answer to that. Joe, why in don't time, you show us your time. beautiful face? My face is not beautiful. Is so ugly. Is so ugh. I am uggo. You guys can <laughs> confirm, right? Do any of you think I'm attractive in any way? I mean... In the, in the right light, which I mean none of it. But... <laughs> I mean, like... Like, like in complete kind of darkness. Crazy homeless man kind of way. <laughs> I've got a face for radio. <laughs> CB. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not even. I couldn't even say that. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's I see. I don't think it was I mean, that bad. I mean, this has been like two hours long. I think we can call it. Yeah. I was just gonna say, yeah. like, you know, if you have any uh, final statements to make, either to the fans or to uh, about the holidays or Christmas. Cool. This is the Christmas special. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like it because we just barely mentioned Christmas at the beginning of it, but this is the Christmas special. And I'm back down. Not as far as you thought you were going to fall, though. No. I guess it looks we'll like have you got to watch shoot. some other legs play to find out what happens in this game. Yeah, you'll have to comment the in the comments. You'll have to comment in the comments if you want me to, to, to play more of this. Another, like, five hours. Because I'm the best at we'll it. We'll do a five hour New Year's special. Where we or you, or you can look again. up, like, the. The speed runs that are under four minutes. Yeah. <laughs> How they do it, I don't know. Is With a mouse. Good? Devil worship. Okay, that didn't work. Let's just set it back down. But yeah, no, no one has any final statements? Nope. Okay. Um, Statement. Merry Christmas. Murphy Holomus. Murphy Holomus. Murphy Holomus. <laughs> yep. Good luck and happy ha scratching. And have <laughs> fun. What are we doing again? Alright, cool. Well, An outro! Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess that, that's job, it. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, yeah, Everyone's good. tired. Everyone good. wants good. to go good. home. Well, I have no way of getting home other than somebody taking me. Start me. walking! Start walking there, Sonny Jim! Who do you think? Here you go. Ooh. You'll be packed enough idiot bread so for you. <laughs> and I'm back down. <laughs> Hey, Police Navidad, Police Navidad, Police Navidad, Prospero Año y Felicidad. Ha -ha. 
Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año es felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart.